I can't miss Doofy the Dragon. It's my favorite show ever. Oh my god, I can't wait for it to come on. I can't wait for it to come on. Alrighty, kids, it's time for Doofy the Dragon. Hey, <laughs> Tim, I'm Doofy the Dragon. And today is my birthday. And I'm going to turn myself into a human birthday candle. Also, the IRS hates me because they're trying to come after me for tax evasion. Kids, go ahead and ask your parents what that means. So, let's get this show on the road. Oh, oh that's the stuff! Oh, get some on my back! Oh, yeah! Really cool. Oh, I wonder if we have any matches that I can play with. Oh, I'm gonna go ask Chef Pee Pee. Uh, now it's time to make these stupid mac and cheese for Junior. Chef Pee Pee, Chef Pee Pee. Junior, what do you want? I'm trying to make your mac and cheese. Well, that's gonna be really yummy. Yep, I'm a chef. But uh, do we have any matches? Oh uh, yeah, it's right over. Wait, why do you need the matches? Well, I was watching Doofy the Dragon, and he was playing with the matches. No, no, I'm gonna stop you right there. Playing with matches is stupid. What? So this idea that's gonna come out of your stupid brain, I'm just gonna shoot it down now. No. But, what oh, Chef Pee Doofy made a fire, and the fire looked really cool. Well, making fires doesn't necessarily mean that it's fun, and it's, it's safe. Well, I want to make a birthday cake with the fire, because it, really, it looks really cool. Where's the cake? Uh, you you want to make a birthday cake? Where's the cake? I don't see any cakes. I want to make a birthday cake without the cake, but with the candles, because the fire... Oh, you're, oh, you're so stupid. You know what? I'll light it for you, okay? Here's your stupid candle, and oh. here's your matches. Oh, cool. Okay, um, how do you light it? Just like this. I'm gonna light it for you, okay? Oh, uh, uh, okay, Chef Pee Pee. Whoa! Oh. That's really cool, Chef Pee Pee! I almost burned myself for a second, oh, but here's wow. your stupid candle! Wow, it looks so beautiful, unlike you, Chef Pee Pee. What? Oh, man. It smells like apples, though. It's, yeah. it's very nice aroma. This is really cool. Will it burn me? Probably, because it's a fire. Oh, man, I could look at this all day. Can I take it to my room? I guess so. Just have a blast. As okay. long as you're not in the kitchen. All right, thank you, Chef BB. What the worst can happen? Oh, man, this candle looks so cool. It's so beautiful. Ow, ow, ow that's hot. That's really hot. Oh, man, I, I love this candle. Uh, come on, macaroni. Uh, uh, oh, damn it. Oh, stupid ass macaroni! Oh, Chef Pee Pee, I think I got a demon in my stomach, but... Wait, what the hell is this mess? This mess? Uh, Junior's fault. And what do you mean about a demon in your stomach? I don't know. I just keep hearing voices and voices telling me, I, I want McDonald's! So you should take me to McDonald's so I can get like a good Happy Meal or something. Maybe a Big Mac. A Big Mac? Come on, Bowser, you know you don't need that. Come on, look. You're not the most skinniest person or fit person in the world. <laughs> <gasps> Shut up, Chef BB! You never make fun of a woman's weight! Just take me to McDonald's so I can get my food! Oh, idiot! Okay, go, go, go! I'm going, Bowser, down! Wait, wait, Junior might want something. Let me go and ask him. Junior, do you want anything from McDonald's? What? Something from McDonald's? Yes, I do! All right, guys, we're at McDonald's. Now, let's make this order simple, because I do not want to look like a fool, okay? Oh, sure, Chef Pee Pee, I can order myself. I'm a grown man. That's right, Dad, you're a grown man. Yep, I'm a big boy. <sighs> okay, so be quiet, Junior. I'm trying to make my order. Okay. Um, excuse me. Go ahead, the order. Um, hi, I would like a, a Big Mac, the biggest, mackiest Big Mac back there. The biggest Mac of them all. And I want a Happy Meal, Dad. Uh, Ju Junior, shut the hell up before I beat the eyebrows off your ass, okay? Uh, 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 I'm trying to order my own food. But I, want, I want a Happy Meal. <sighs> Stop interrupting me. Have manners. A Can I get a Big Mac? A Chicken Nugget Happy Meal. And a Chicken Nugget Happy Meal. And, um, what else do I want? That's enough, guys. Get back. I'm sorry for that. Um, the milkshake! Uh, uh, can I have a milkshake too, please? Just a milkshake, a small milkshake. 
Uh, chocolate, vanilla, because such dumbasses. Uh, all of them. No, no, just chocolate, please. Chocolate. You're not getting all of them. Oh, you hate chocolate. I don't give a f. You said uh, the Happy Meal, the Kids Meal? The Chicken Nugget one. Yes, Chicken Nugget, please. I'm sorry about this little brat. He's an asshole. Sorry, right. you want apple slices with that? Um, yes, he, he needs apple slices. He's kind of fat. What? I hate apple slices! Shut the hell up! I want my toy! No! no. They better give me two for no. Two toys! No, no. Did you want no. the Big Mac to be in the middle? Or just a sandwich? Uh, p please, uh, just put it all together. That, that'll that be it. Dad! He's being rude! Be, uh, well, I can't do nothing about it. I'm just ready for my food. Thank, thank you, sir. Oh, I better have a toy. Yay! I got my food! Ah, oh, the food chef, PB! Now drive us back home! God, you guys are ungrateful! Oh, uh, shit, baby, when we get home, can we play with toys? No, we're not playing with toys. What? What? what, what what's wrong with the house? Oh, oh my God. God. It's on fire! I didn't get on fire! Oh, let's go see it! Oh. Uh, wait, what's that noise all about? I'm trying to sleep. Wait, my house is on fire? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Yeah, take that, you fiery bastard. Our house is on fire! Yeah, what's yeah. going on? How did it happen? I don't know. I gotta put the fire out first, all right? Oh, you don't uh, mind? Just give me a minute. It's okay. just me out here, okay? I don't even have a Dalmatian. I don't have a team. No, I don't, hell, I don't even have a fire truck. You see that car over there? That's my car. I had to drive here. Oh. You think people get out of the way for that? No. It doesn't even have sirens. That I had sucks. a hawk. They cut off funding last month, so this is what I have to work with. You see this? This is your garden hose. I don't have anything else. This is it. Well, what happened to the fire truck hose? Well, look, I don't have a truck, right? So I don't have a hose. You see oh, the problem? But what about everything inside of the house? Is it okay? Oh, hell no. It's gone. <gasps> oh, I gotta, no. get, I gotta get Thomas! What the hell no, Junior? Oh, kid! Hey, kid! Kid, do not go in there! I have to, I have to save Thomas! <laughs> oh, Thomas! Thomas, where are you? Thomas! 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 Let's get out of here, buddy! Nah, take that, you fire! Uh, I saved Thomas, everybody! Oh, great! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, oh, don't worry, everybody! He saved Thomas! Yep, I guess we can all go home now! Oh, wait, we can't, because the house is still on fire! Oh, well, put it out, mister! Put it out! Uh, that is what I am doing! Just please wait with your parents or whatever on the curb over there, please! Okay! <sighs> Oh, God. Chef PP, why did our house catch on fire? Junior, we'll find out in a minute. Just hold on. Shut up. Um, did, did, did we piss off Poseidon? Poseidon, Junior? Poseidon? Yes, yes. We pissed off the water god. That's why our house is on fire. We pissed off a water god. He sprayed a bunch of fire on our house because we pissed him off. Even though he's a water god. Oh, I'm sorry, Chef PB. All right, everybody. I got some good news and some bad news. <laughs> well, tell us. What is it? Oh, oh, sorry. I just... Uh, yeah, the bad news is that your house is done. It's... It's... It's gone. What? Well, that was obvious. I knew it was on fire. Oh, so no more house? I guess not. No, it's 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 pretty cooked. Well, what's the good news? Oh, well, the good news is that it smells like apples. What? Yeah, see, this candle here, this candle was the cause of the fire. And so everything in there smells like baked apples Wait, and fire. wait, wait. Bad candle caused the fire? Yeah, somebody must have left it on a bed or something. I don't know. So, Junior, didn't you um put a candle on the bed? Uh, yeah, in my room. Oh, 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 um. Hey, Junior, how about you come and talk to me in the car for a second? Okay, uh, see you later, fireman. Go talk to Chef Peepee. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, what do you want to talk to me about, Chef Peepee? Oh, nothing. Just I fing hate you, Junior. What the hell's wrong with you? I just said the house on fire. Wait, 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 did I just hear that my house is destroyed? Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty messed up. So, so where am I going to live now? Oh, well luckily for you, your, uh, your insurance is going to cover some temporary housing, like an apartment, you know, just, just so we can rebuild your house. Oh man, an apartment? Yeah. Oh God. It's not too bad. Oh, my house. I have so many memories in this house of watching Charlie and Friends and laughing at Charlie and Friends and... Did, oh, man, Charlie did, and hey, friends. Hey, do, do you hear some kid getting beat somewhere? Oh, Charlie. Yeah, probably just the wind. All right, guys, so this is your new place. Whoa. Wait, this is the place? Yeah, it's uh, it's all your insurance could afford, but uh, it's pretty nice that we can build you a new house. <laughs> mm, it smells weird. Kind of. I'll, right. I'll show you around. Okay. So this here's the living room. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, Whoa, it looks really around. cool. Doesn't even look half bad. I like yeah. it. Pretty nice. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You got red couches? Uh, yeah. Those red couches? 
Can I jump on him? Uh, knock yourself out. Yay! Yeah. Oh, my God, you guys are such children. What is wrong with you? Uh, you guys get really worked up over couches. Well, uh, whoa, look at that painting. Is yeah. that a Picasso? Oh, you like that? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I, I painted that. What? Yeah. My, uh... My wife said it's a piece of shit, but what does she know? She yeah. Did, she didn't go to art school for 13 years only to drop out and become a firefighter, you know? So, doesn't really... It's kind of weird. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's, let's go check out the kitchen, yeah. Okay, the kitchen! Alright, so this here's the kitchen. Um, I don't really care for the kitchen. I'm gonna go and look at the bedrooms. This is really cool, mister. Yeah. But this kitchen is kind of small, though. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, it's a little small, but it's better than the pile of ashes you'd be working in otherwise, you know, because your house burned down. It, it looks cool, Chef yeah, PB. So I mean, look, you got a sink over there, yeah. and you got a the, 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 the microwave machine, and, yeah. and yeah. stove. Oh, a stove. stove. And, and the, the, the refrigerator. Yeah, and you get, a, you get a bunch of jars of, like, corn and, and peppers, and I mean, I wouldn't eat those. That's just me. You know, <laughs> oh, that's weird, but, yeah. um... Oh man, I can see me making some good meals in here. I can see me making big messes in here. Wh what? No, no, you're not gonna be anywhere near this damn kitchen. I'm gonna make uh, sure of that. Oh. Yeah. Well. Well, you uh, you also got this little island over here. It's pretty cool. Oh, an yeah. island? That's Whoa. Cool. And look, you can look at the living room. Yeah, you can look in there and see people on the couch. Be like, hey, you on the couch over there. You you want a sandwich or something? That's just, that's just an example. You can oh. do whatever you want. It's your house. Oh, that's cool. Oh, show show us there. some more rooms. Um. Okay. Let me show you the bedroom. Wait, 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 what's that room? Oh, that? Oh, that's just the dining room. You know, it's just where you eat and you can hang some paintings or something, make it look nicer. Yeah, it looks, it needs to look a little prettier. Yeah. Brighter. Yeah, I want a so, big yeah. painting of uh, Chef Pee's nose right on that wall. Why my nose? You always have something with my nose. I hate you, you little brat. Uh, yeah. Can you just show us the room, please? Why are they okay. yelling at me like it's my fault? Well, you're kind of a jerk. All right, hurry up and show me my room, God! Jeez, hold on. This is your kid's room first, okay? <gasps> my room? Yeah, and, uh, well, you said you like Thomas, right? Yeah, I love Thomas. Choo-choo, I think I can, I think I can. Yeah, all that. Well, uh, I did you a favor and put you in a special order for a, uh, Thomas bedspread. Take a look <gasps> at that. Thomas! Oh, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can! Oh my god, I love it! What the hell? How did he get an extra special bed set? This is wool! How did he get Thomas? <gasps> I, you know... You even got the painting from the fair! What?! Oh yeah, I found that in the fire. It's among the ashes. Oh, that's the only thing that survived! Yeah. <laughs> it, did it burn at all? I love it! I love it! Thank you so much, yeah, mister! You're very welcome. Oh, burn oh, that damn god. picture! That's a stupid ass picture! I don't like that picture! How did that survive out of the whole fire? I like it. I think it's pretty good. It's awesome! And look, Chippy, you have boobies! Yeah, you do. No, I don't! I don't have boobies! It's just a bad artist! That's what oh it was! Oh my god, Thomas. Alright, well y'all can look at the rest. I only care about this. Oh, man. I better have a Charlie and Friends best set. I know that. Alright, it's time for your room. Alright, come on, Charlie Covers! Come on, Charlie Covers! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't they don't make those. What? There you go. Whoa! This bed is huge! Oh, I got my own bed! There's no Charlie Covers, but this'll do! <laughs> now turn on, Charlie! Uh, yeah, you know, I guess I'll get that for you. There you go. Time for Charlie, who likes Charlie, we like Charlie, everybody. Woo! <laughs> oh, man, I missed you, Charlie. Oh, you've all I need in my world. Wait, 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 hold on. Where is my bed? Oh, um, um, yeah. I, I could get you a bathtub. No. Bathtub? A uh, couch. Got a couch. Got a big, red, comfy couch. Oh, my God. A couch? Are you serious? Yeah, it's Junior has a Thomas set, Bowser has his own bed, and I have to sleep on a couch? Well, I, you can't really blame me. I didn't know you lived with them. I just thought you worked there as a chef, you know? <laughs> and, Boy, why? Yeah. Nobody ever thinks about me! Yeah. Oh, stupid couch! Everybody else has a bed but me! <laughs> oh, come on, man. Cheer up. How can I cheer up? Everybody else is satisfied. Junior has a Thomas set, Bowser has his own room with a TV. But I have to sleep on a couch! <laughs> well, yeah, I see your point. It does kind of suck. Yes, it sucks! Um, I gotta go do a painting for my grandmother, but uh, I know to chill you out. Come on, let's just, just follow me. What? Alright, so what's inside this room might finally make you happy. I hope so. Alright, well, let's take a look. Okay. Boom, there you go. What? Yeah. A closet? Hey, hey, it's not just any kind of closet. It's what? a walk-in closet. Oh, huh? come on. a walk-in closet? Yeah, a walk-in closet. Oh my god, I, I, how could I forget? Thanks yeah. for reminding oh, me. You're very welcome. Look at that. T take a walk. Step right in. Take a walk-in oh, Let in me closet. walk in my closet. 
Oh, but look at oh, all this room! Oh, it just transformed my world! It's a walking clock! You know, it's amazing! You got shelves for putting stuff and all this room for. So, what's so special about this walk in closet? Well, you could, you could sleep in here all by yourself. No, nobody to bother you in your the closet. The same thing I could do in a bedroom? Uh, I mean. Yeah, but you don't you don't have shelves like this in a bedroom. Oh, on shelves? Yeah, you don't oh, find walk -in sure don't have shelves in a bedroom. Can you just get the hell out of my house? Because oh, yes. I really feel like I, killing the I, shit I, out of you I, right I, now. I get out! So I hope you guys enjoy the new house. It's uh, it's only temporary. You know what? Just get the hell out, okay? Get out! Now, now, go! God, jeez. Asshole. Oh, I gotta say, it is a nice kitchen, though. But I still have memories of the old kitchen. Oh, yeah. Chef baby, I'm hungry! Oh my god, didn't we just go to McDonald's just a minute ago? Yeah, but I'm still hungry. Like, I'm really hungry, devil. <laughs> Such a fat ass! Get the hell out of here! Oh, you fat ass! Marvin, guess what came in the mail today? These nuts! My grandparents' ashes. Oh, wait, your grandparents' ashes? Like, both of them? Yeah, Marvin, they wanted to be mixed together for all eternity. Wait, so they're both inside this thing? Ew, is that their ashes? Yes, Marvin, they died, they were cremated, they wanted to be put in this priceless, one-of-a-kind vase that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family. Well, can we put it, like, in the closet or something? I don't want to look at it, it's weird. Oh, no, Marvin, they love kitchens. They said when we die, put us in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen and look at your grandparents' death sand, okay? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, okay. All right, guys, are you ready to kick the soccer ball in the house? Yeah! yeah! But Junior, what if we break something? Cody, are you 40 years old? What if we break something? Yeah, be a kid for once. Well, I just don't want to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. Hey, Jeffy, I'm going to kick the ball to you first. Okay. Ugh. Mm -mm. Ugh. I got it, I got it. My turn. Ugh. Watch this! Oh, uh, what was that? It sounded like you broke something. It sounded like you broke something. Cody, that's what you sound like. If you ever want to know what you sound like, that's what you sound like. Well, okay, that doesn't change that you broke something. Okay, how do you know I broke something? Because there was a loud crash from the kitchen. But what if there's a speaker in there that plays crashing glass sounds? Wh why would you have that? You know they're like little machines that play nature noises? Maybe it's on the crashing glass sound channel. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very relaxing. Crashing glass sounds. I'd like to fall asleep to that. But guys, do you think I broke something? No. no. See, look, guys, it's three against one, so I didn't break anything. Okay, let's go check. Check. Okay, what do I get when there's nothing broken there? Uh, five dollars. Okay, I'm about to get five dollars. Okay. Oh no! What happened here? Junior, this is the thing you broke! Wait, so there's not a machine that makes broken glass noises in here? No, you don't have one of those. Yes, I do! And what is all this stuff? I think it's someone's ashes. Wow, they have a serious smoking problem if they have that much ashes. What? No, Junior, I mean like human ashes. Like, this used to be people. Dude, this is a lot of people. Alright, guys, okay, what are we gonna do about this? But what are we gonna do, Junior? You're the one who broke it. What? No, we all broke it, because we all kicked the soccer ball. But you hit it last. No, Jeffy! hit it last. No, you hit it last. Guys, it doesn't matter that Jeffy hit it last. We just have to focus on cleaning it up. So uh, I'm going to sweep up the ashes and let's put it inside a vase that looks just like it. Junior, where are we going to find a vase that looks just like this one? Hey, guys, look at this vase I found that looks just like that one. <laughs> what, 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 oh, Jeffy, oh, come, on. Jeffy oh. come on, we needed that. Oh. <gasps> ah! Grandpa, Grandpa. <laughs> All right, who did it? Jeffy did it. What? Yeah, yeah, Jeffy did it, Jeffy did it. Yeah, Jeffy did it. Oh, screw you guys! That's it, Jeffy, you're grounded! But I didn't do it! Your friends ratted you out and said you did it, so you're coming with me! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded! But I didn't break the vase! Yes, you did! Well, I didn't break the first vase, but I broke the second vase. There was only one vase, Jeffy. No, there wasn't, there were two vases! No, it was one of a kind priceless and a down for generation. Exactly, there was only one vase, Jeffy. <laughs> Guys, if there were two vases, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Prove them wrong. Jeffy, there was only one vase and you broke it because your friend said you broke it. My friends are no longer my friends anymore because they friended me. Jeffy gets friend. It's the title of the video. Jeffy, you're grounded for a month. This house is a prison. Go to your room. Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that my friends friend me. Okay, then do that then. But you're the one who broke it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We'll go sweep it up and we'll put it in like a litter box or something. All right, guys, what color do you think goes next? Oh, dude, totally the orange one. Oh, definitely orange. No. What's up, D-Bags? Oh, hey, Jeffy. Sorry we had to blame it on you. Because of you guys, I lost TV for a month. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, sorry, Jeffy. You guys better go tell my dad the truth or else I'm going to ruin all of your lives. But, but they, they already think you did it, so just take the blame on this one. So you've chosen death. I hope you guys enjoy it. 
do? What is Jeffy gonna do? Uh, I don't know. He's not gonna do anything. All right, guys, I think Blue is next. No. All right, guys, I think we put them in the perfect order. <sighs> you guys cannot be serious. Well, you can't do it any better. Yeah, guys, I think I'm just gonna go get Ken and go home. Wait, where'd you leave Ken at? Oh, he's on the couch downstairs. I left Ken right here. Wait, wait, what's this? If you ever want to see Ken again, admit that I didn't break the vase! Jeffy must have taken Ken! Junior, you have to go admit that you broke the vase right now! What? No! I'm not gonna get grounded just so you can get your stupid dumb doll back! But Junior, I need Ken back! Well, look, nothing's gonna happen to Ken! But, but, but what if he hurts him? Dude, he's a doll! Yeah, he's a doll. How is he gonna hurt a dumb doll? He's not gonna hurt him. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, down there, dude! What? Hey, Cody, there's a package here for you. But to me? But this is your house. I know, that's weird. We should open it. <clears throat> so, Cody, why did a package for you come to my house? I don't know. It's really weird. What'd you order? New glasses? <laughs> new glasses? Yeah, new glasses. Why would I order new glasses? Because you love to collect glasses and wear them. But do you think I wear glasses because I collect glasses? No, I wear glasses because my eyes don't work right. So did you order new eyes? <laughs> new eyes? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to open the box now. <clears throat> What? His head! <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Wait, wait, there's no more pieces of him in there? No, it's just his head! What? Junior, we have to go tell the truth right now! What? No! I'm not gonna tell the truth just because you got Ken's head! But Junior, look what he did to him! Oh, look, 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 maybe the other pieces will come in the mail. <laughs> See, look, that might be another box with another piece to him. Come on. <laughs> Hello? What, Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? We're very disappointed in you, Cody. What, what did I do? You ate a Baconator, Cody. We're Jewish. We're not supposed to eat pork. Well, I didn't eat a Baconator. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did we find this Baconator wrapper in your room? Along with a note that says, ha, 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 I ate this Baconator from Wendy's. So you're going to laugh in our face. Ooh, you're going to burn in Jewish hell for that. Well, why would I leave a note about something I'm not allowed to do? Because you're just that cocky, Cody. You didn't think you'd get caught. Why couldn't you just have eaten a Dave's Double? Well, I did! I love Dave's Doubles! I get them all the time! I don't want to hear you coming home right now, okay? We're going to give you a Spankinator. <sighs> Tell the truth, Junior! Well, I don't want to get grounded! <sighs> Whoa, dude, Cody's life is ruined, just like Jeffy said! Well, do you think Jeffy's going to try to ruin our lives? Nah, I don't have parents, so I'd love to see him try. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Who's the door? Mm. Hello? Joseph? Mommy? Yes! I came back because I love you and I want to be a family again. Really? Yes. Yeah. Ah, Why? <laughs> you guys ready to tell the truth? Jimmy, you ruined my life! Then tell the truth! Well, Jimmy, just stop doing this! Then tell the truth! Whew. Oh, man. Oh, it's really hot in that thing. All right, kid, you get my hundred bucks? Yeah, it's right here in my diaper. You can go ahead and grab it. Right, thank you. Man, you really made that guy feel pretty bad. Yeah, he got me grounded. Oh. Well, I mean, I'd feel bad if I were you, but whatever. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I got a whole bunch more costumes. All right, thanks. Mm -mm -mm. My famous soup is almost ready. Oh, hey, Jeffy. What are you doing? Wait, why are you getting closer to me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dude, my whole life is ruined. Just tell the truth. Well, I don't want to get grounded. Dude, just tell the truth. Junior, dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. What did Chef Pee, Pee make me? Oh, he made you his famous soup. What? Wait, what's in this? Chef Pee Pee? What? No, I know he made the soup, but what's in this? Chef Pee Pee. What? Chef Pee Pee? Oh, you go, Chef Pee Pee! Yep, and I'm gonna keep going until you tell the truth. What? No, I want Chef Pee Pee back! Are you gonna tell the truth? Oh, yes, okay. You didn't do it! Alright, good. <laughs> oh man, you got Junior so good. Yep, here's your hundred bucks. Thank you very much. That'll teach him a lesson. Uh -huh. Okay, you want the truth? Okay, Jimmy did not break your stupid dumb grandparents' face. I broke it. I was the last one to kick the chocolate ball. And I'm the one who broke it. So ungrounded so we can stop killing our families. Mother, father, I demand an apology. Wait, so Jeffy, you did not break that vase? Nope. Well, I broke the second one, but not the first one. So your friends lied? Yes, they framed me. Wait, the title of the video. Jeffy gets framed. We should have paid attention. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that. Well, Jeffy, we're sorry for grounding you. We just we just thought you did it. Now kiss my hand. Kiss your hand. Kiss my hand. <sighs> Ow! Now don't you 
don't you ever try to take my TV away from me again. Now, which one of you is going to go sweep up Grandma and Grandpa? Today, we're going to be doing water balloon making crafts. We're going to be making water balloons and releasing them into the sky. You should already have your water balloons at your desk, and I'm going to blow mine up. But before we get started, if you see my lunch walking around the classroom, please don't touch it. All right, I'm going to blow up my balloon. Whoa, we get to play with balloons today? No, Junior, they're not for playing. They're weather balloons. They monitor the weather. How does a balloon monitor the weather? Well, if the balloon blows away, that means it's windy. If it's wet, that means it's raining. If it pops, that means it gets struck by lightning. And if the balloon starts going in circles, that means there's a tornado coming. And if it turns into an ice cube, that means it's snowing. I didn't know balloons could do all that. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Hey, Penelope, can I have your red balloon? I don't like my green one. No, Junior, I like my red balloon. But this green balloon reminds me of your ugly green eyes because your eyes are the color of boogers. Shut up! Up, Junior! Alright, Crafts, in a few minutes we're gonna go outside and release our weather balloons so they can go up and take pictures of the nuclear sites. I mean, tell us the weather. So, anyway, Crafts, if your balloon pops in the Crafts, you fail, okay? Balloons are very expensive. 25 cents per balloon. Good come out, Badoon. Badoon, 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 Badoon. Hey! Why'd my Badoon go up there? Hey, Jeffy, look. I brought a Nerf gun to school, and it has a needle in the dart. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your balloon. Touch my balloon, and I'll break your eye sockets! <sighs> okay, fine. I'll shoot Penelope's balloon, then. Hey! Bowling! <laughs> Penelope? More like pop Elope. What a loser! Hey! Penelope! You pop your balloon, you fail! What? It wasn't me! It was Bully! He popped my balloon with a Nerf gun! I don't wanna hear it! Chinese spy balloon is very expensive! But it wasn't me! <laughs> Penelope, can you stop crying? I'm trying to watch TV. Boyny, you don't want us crying! Stop it. Boyny, ask him what's wrong! What's wrong, Penelope? I'm getting bullied at school! Wait, you're being bullied? <laughs> yeah, he popped my... my Wait, what'd he my, pop? He popped my balloon! Oh, thank God. <laughs> So you're telling me you're being bullied at school? Yeah. Okay, well I know how to deal with bullies. I'm gonna bang his mom. What? Yeah, I'm gonna bang that kid's mom. That way, next time he tries to bully you, all you have to do is say, yeah, well my dad banged your mom. Then what's he gonna do? I mean, it's true. I can't unbang his mom. I'm basically a stepdad at that point. Boyny, you're not gonna bang that kid's mother. I will too bang his mom. I bet you five bucks that you don't. Okay, bet. I'm gonna bang his mom. Okay, deal. You're not a closer, Boyny. You don't have the moves. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll see. His mom will be banged by me. Um, hello? Still here? You're not gonna bang anyone's mom. Penelope, this is how adults settle their problems, okay? His mom will be bung. Ew, Dad, no! Look, I'm gonna come to school with you tomorrow so you can point the kid out for me. You can't come to school with me! As a cop, I can! Ugh! Okay, Karen, tomorrow I'm gonna come home and these fingers are gonna smell like victory. I'll believe it when I smell it, Boydie! Okay, we'll see! Okay, Penelope, point out the kid. No, Dad, I'm not gonna do that. This is so embarrassing. Look, the sooner you point out the kid, the sooner I can get to banging his mom. Ew, Dad, no, I'm not gonna tell you who he is. <laughs> hey, Pop Penelope, where's your balloon, nerd? I'm assuming that's him? Yeah. <laughs> now I want to bang his mom more than ever. I'm gonna bang his mom in his bed so that when he goes to bed at night, he's gonna know that your father banged his mom there. Ew, Dad, just leave! No, 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 I still need to get his mom's phone number. How are you gonna do that, Dad? Penelope, watch a master at work. All right, Crash, so I need you to pull out a pen and a piece of paper because we're gonna be writing our excuses for our spy balloons to the FBI. Hold up, hold up, police. Random desk check for drugs, class. The school who didn't tell me about this? Well, if they did, it wouldn't be very random, now would it? I have my eye on you. Now let's see. Who looks suspicious? You? Me? Yeah, you. Now let me take a look in your desk. But I don't have anything. Oh, really? Then what's this, huh? A little marijuana? Hey, you planted that! Yeah, so what? Scammers get scammed. Get your money up, not your funny up. Now give me your mom's phone number so I can call her about this. She doesn't have a phone. Okay, listen here, you little punk. Give me them digits. Billy! Mommy realized you forgot your mashed pea slops. 
Mom, you're embarrassing me! No, come on, Billy. I'm just trying to make sure my little baby has something to eat. Wait, I I'm sorry. This, this is your mother? Yeah. Yeah, what you need, officer? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I, I put this catnip in your son's desk. It's sorry. Uh, oh, oh, God. What is that smell? Oh, that's probably my panties. I've been fighting a wicked yeast infection. I'm telling you, you pop these bad boys in a microwave, a loaf of bread's coming out. I mean, I mean, when you sneeze, that green gooey stuff that comes out, my panties. Oh, Jesus. Or it could be because I only buy one ply toilet paper and there's a grapevine of dingleberries back there. I mean, I just don't know what to do. I, I give up. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just going to go now. Didn't you need her number? What you need my numbers for? Uh, you know, I I forgot. So I'm just going to go. Well, I'm going home, Penelope. Sorry. What? I thought you were going to bang his mom. No, no, f*** that. Have you seen that wildebeest over there? I am not touching that. I have to wear a trash bag. Two trash bags. Well, then what am I supposed to do about the bully? Huh. Well, banging the mom is obviously off the table, but, um... Oh, oh, the dad. Yeah, I could beat up his dad, and then you could say my dad beat up your dad. Well, that's better. Yeah, I'll go talk to him. All right, Billy. Mommy's gonna get back to work. Hey, 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 I just wanted to ask real quick. Uh, where is his father? Oh, his father's in jail for triple homicide. And I don't mean that accidental crap, neither. He killed three people in broad daylight. Planned and everything. Strung them up by their shoelaces and ate the testicles. Oh, well, if I can't beat him up, maybe I can make his life hell in prison. Uh, w what jail is he in? No, I have no idea. Last I heard, he was in solitary confinement for murdering two guards and killing the warden. Yup, strung him up by the shoelaces and ate the testicles. He really loves testicles, especially police officer testicles. Uh, yeah, yeah, got it, got it, thank you. Well, Penelope, you're just gonna have to get bullied. That's gonna be your life now. What happened to beating up his dad? Well, look, I just don't want to get my balls munched off, okay? His dad is a serial killer and a serial ball muncher. But you told me you would help me with my bully problem! Yeah, but look, I can't bang his mom and I sure as hell can't beat up his dad. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't cry. Come on. Just, just, okay, okay, I'll bang her, I'll bang her, okay? I'll bang his mom. You don't have to do that. We can just figure something else out. No, we'll do this. Come on, let's go home and talk. Uh, about it. Let me smell him, Boiny. Here. Oh, it smells like hand sanitizer. Yeah, because I didn't do it. I know you couldn't do it, Boiny. Pay up. All right, fine. Here's your damn $5. But it's not because I didn't have the moves. It's because she was disgusting. You know what I think, Boiny? I think you couldn't do it because you love me too much and you didn't want to hurt my feet. I promise that's not the reason. If she would have been smoking hot, I would have been up in that. I wouldn't have thought twice. Ha! Okay. Dad, what are we going to do about my bully? I don't know, Penelope. Just switch schools or something. You said you were going to fix it. I know. Look, the only thing I can do is bang the mom, but I just can't. Boy, need you want to go double or nothing? Oh, there's just no way. I can't do it. Why don't you call your brother Jonathan? <gasps> Karen, you're a genius. That'll work. Jonathan will bang anything. Hey, Penelope, you know what's even better than saying my dad banged your mom? My uncle banged your mom. How about that? No one has to bang anyone. Yes, they do, Penelope. It's the only way. I'm going to go call Jonathan. Okay, I called Jonathan. He should be here any minute. <sighs> Be looking, guy. As soon as you called, I came so fast. And then I left my house and got you. Wh why didn't you knock? You just came in. Because we're family. So what do you need? Well, Jonathan, we need you to, uh, we need you to bang somebody. Finally! I knew this day would come. Don't worry, Karen. I'll be gentle. Not my wife. Oh, I didn't know you want me to bang. It's, uh, it's like this, uh, this hot bomb. <gasps> Milf. Yeah, 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 like a MILF. A big MILF. Big hot MILF. Wait a minute. This sounds a little too good to be true. And she wants me? Yeah, of course she does. Hmm. What's in it for me? Uh, yeah, you know, the, the MILF. Hmm, you're gonna have to do a little better than that looking guy. Um, well, I got five dollars. Kill! Hey! No takesy backsies! Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna go over to a house dressed like plumbers so you can unclog a pipe. <laughs> Luckily for you, my old nickname used to be the Keystone Pipeline. Cause I was so good at laying pipe. They're gonna shut me down. Yeah, you have done this before, right? Psh, obviously! Just ask my right hand, Jill. She gets it all the time. Okay, good. Well, let's go. Come on. Okay, Jonathan. This is the address I got when I looked up her name based on a name tag. Ooh, is she hot? Oh, smoking. A pack a day. Must be. Oh, so hot. Okay, so here's how this is gonna go. I, I think she's into role play, so we're gonna pretend to be plumbers, and then when she opens the door, she's Oh, gonna... is she gonna be naked? Oh, God, I hope not. No, 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 no. When, when she opens the door, she's gonna pretend she doesn't remember calling plumbers, so then I'm gonna get to work on clogging the pipes, and then you start hitting on her. Okay, got it. So you're hitting first? No, 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 no. This is all you, man. You got this. Okay, I just didn't know because you said something about unclogging a pipes. No, no, I meant like real actual pipes. No, this is all you. No, honestly, I don't mind. I, I actually prefer it. No, no, the, you got this, okay? Just you. Only you. Okay, I'm gonna knock. Huh? What the? Hey, Billy! Go into the damn door! I don't want 
want to, Mom. What if it's child services again and I say the wrong thing? Yeah, you right. I'll go get it. Sit. Hello? Wait a minute. Don't I know you? Uh, no, no ma'am. We're plumbers with the plumbing service. We're here because you called a few days ago about having trouble with your pipes. Oh, yeah, I did. I remember that. What, you do? Oh, yeah. Do I have a problem for you? My toilet's been clogged and I ain't been able to flush it in about three weeks. Oh, God. Yeah, come on in. Is that her? Uh, yeah. Go, 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 go. All right, here's the toilets. It ain't flushing. It's in the bathtub. Yeah. Well, that's not where it goes. All right, smart guys. Well, where is it supposed to go? Well, you see that hole in the ground? Yeah. That's where the toilet goes. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. All right, guys. Well, whatever you do, don't open that toilet because it's about to overflow. Good luck. Oh, God. All right, well, get to banging, Jonathan. You want me to bang, Dad? Yeah, look, you got it. Come on, big guy. But she's disgusting. Hey, you want to impress your big brother, right? I mean, I guess. Hey, do it for Mom. You're right. Mother doesn't think I get any women. I'm going to prove her wrong. Yeah, that's right. Come on. All right, Jonathan, get in there. I don't know, Buchan guy. I'm kind of nervous. Are you sure you don't want to tag team? No, God, no. Look, you got it, okay? Just say to her what you say to the anime girls. Oh, sure. You want me to say, Arigato senpai, chin chin kasukai nabe yo. Yeah, just never say that to me ever again. Now get in there. How's it going, sweet cheeks? Watching Judge Judy. How's my toilets going? Don't you worry about that toilet. My blood is unclogging those pipes. That way I can unclog your pipes. Why are you naked? Oh, so don't worry about that. I just figured I'd let you know that if there was only two women left on Earth, I would ask what the other one looked like. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God, he's actually doing it. Go, Jonathan! Oh. Hey, hey, you actually did it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You hear it? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Oh, man, that's my dog right there. Yeah, come on, let's go. Mission successful, Karen. Jonathan Pipe, he got up in there. He did? Yeah, totally. Yeah, he's Peter Piper. Tell her about it, Jonathan. Yep, I'm, I'm Peter Piper, and I piped a lot of peppers for, for shizzle. Wait a minute, Jonathan. You only ever say for shizzle when you're lying. No, I for shizzly don't. Did you do it or not? I don't know. Maybe. What, what do you mean, maybe? Maybe he's not good enough. My daughter can't go to school and tell her bully, maybe my uncle banged your mom. This has to be definite, Jonathan. What happened? Well, you know that thing when turtles get scared and their head goes back in their shell? My winner does that. You turtled? I was scared. Wait, so did you do it or not? I don't know. Probably not. Damn it, Jonathan. What were you doing in there? I was laying on the bed and smacking my belly to make it sound like we were banging. What, what was she doing? She was laying on the bed beside me watching Judge Judy. Damn it, Jonathan. Now I gotta find somebody else. No, you don't. We can give me a second chance. Bring it to my house this time. That way I have the home field advantage. What, so she can see your anime figures and then leave? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a hit, man. Boy, you're gonna have her killed? No, no, not like that. Like, I'm gonna see if he can do a different kind of hit. You know, like, hit it and quit it. Ooh, can I watch? No, get the hell out of here, Jonathan. Aww. <sighs> Hey, you call a hitman. Oh, you, you're you a dolphin. Yeah, I get that a lot. Okay, well, who cares? Uh, we have a job for you. Well, who do you want me to kill? Oh, see, that's the thing. I don't want you to kill anybody. I, uh, I need you to bang this kid's mom. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, this kid's been bullying my daughter at school, so I thought, you know, if you bang his mom, then we can make fun of him, and then maybe that'll shut him up. Okay, well, I don't really do that. I'm a hitman. I kill people. Yeah, but, like, since you're a hitman, I thought maybe you could, like, hit that, you know? See, I kill people because killing people is easy. They don't have a choice, I just kill them. But hitting that, that that's a whole other job. Yeah, well, would it help if I told you she smells like fish? I don't know, man. This is gonna cost you a pretty penny. Well, I got five dollars. Well, it's gonna cost more like five thousand dollars. Well, damn! How much is it gonna cost to kill her? Ten thousand. <sighs> okay, fine. Uh, how about this? How about you go uh, hit that, and then when you get back, I'll give you your money, okay? All right, fine. I think this is the right house. Hello? Oh dear god. Oh my god, I love dolphins! Get in here! Uh, uh, oh god, it was horrible, but I did it. You owe me 10,000 now. Wait, how do I know you even did it? I took this video of the whole thing. Oh, oh god, ew, 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 turn it off, turn it off! Ugh, is that really how you do it? Yeah. Alright, honey, pay him. Okay! Well, I did it, so now you can tell the whole world that that bully's mom get bent over by a dolphin. Hey, that's great! Penelope, do you hear that? What? This dolphin banged the bully's mom! What? Yeah, this dolphin! He banged the bully's mom! You know what? I'm ready to switch schools now. I paid him $10,000. <laughs> hey, penis LLP. How far can you see with those telescopes on your eyes? Hey! Well, well... Yeah, I, what's your comeback? Well, at least my mom didn't get banged by a dolphin. What? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm banging your mom, bully. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Dad, 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 it worked. 
worked. What worked? The bully tried bullying me today, and I told him at least my mom didn't get banged by a dolphin, and he cried. Yes, yes, that's right. I did that. Me. I'm dad of the year. Nobody bullies my daughter without their mom getting banged. <laughs> I won. Ah, <sighs> gonna have a nice, quiet, relaxing day. Hey, Dad, can you buy me a thumbs up in my crown? What'd you say, Jeffy? Can you buy me a thumbs up in my crown? Jeffy, I can't hear you. Speak up. All right, Daddy, hold on one second. What? what? Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? Jeffy, you don't need the stupid megaphone. Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? Ask without the megaphone. Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? No! You know what? I said no, I'm not buying you a stupid dumb laptop! Who's that? Uh, hello? Hey Marvin! Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? You see this laptop? Yeah. Well, on this laptop is a thousand Bitcoin. And right now, with current market prices, that's over $68 million! What, there's over $68 million on this laptop? Yep, there sure is, and I need you to watch it for me. But why do you need me to watch it? Well, because tonight, at 3 a.m., Bitcoin's gonna be going to $100,000 per coin. And that means my portfolio will be worth over $100 million! And at 3 a.m., I need you to sell all my Bitcoin. Well, why do you need me to sell all your Bitcoin at 3 a.m.? Why don't you do it? Because I'll be asleep at 3 a.m. Does it look like I'm awake at 3 a.m.? Of course not. But you look like you'll be awake at 3 a.m. with those ugly bags under your eyes. God, you're ugly. Well, well, why don't you just get someone else to do it? Because I don't feel comfortable with all that money. So get someone else to do it. Well, Marvin, if you do it, I'll pay you a million dollars. You'll pay me a million dollars to do it? Yep, I sure will. But keep in mind, if you screw this up for me, I'm going to cut off your ball sack and use it as a hot air balloon. It'll be a hot air ball loon. Wait, no, 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 okay, I won't mess this up. I, I will definitely sell them, okay? It's safe with me. Okay, don't screw this up, Marvin. Oh, man, Daddy's about to get paid. All I have to do is click sell at 3 a.m. and I make a million dollars. I'm so happy. Oh, sweet, you got me a laptop? No, Jeffy, I did not get you a laptop. Ah, you bought yourself a laptop just to rub it in my face? Well, no, Jeffy. You're a bad daddy. This is not even my laptop. Oh, because it's my laptop because you bought it for me. Well, no, no. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Jeffy, this is your laptop. I bought it for you. Oh, sweet. Let me play with it. No, 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 Je Jeffy. Uh, you can't play with it till 3.01 a.m. Why? Be because I'm setting it up for you. Well, I have to check my piggies, and my piggies need to bang. What? I need to breed my piggies in Minecraft. Wait, oh, Jeffy, oh, 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 hold on. Oh, I'm downloading Minecraft right now. Oh, oh man, it says, it says it's going to take till 3.01 to download Minecraft. Well, then you're doing it wrong because it doesn't take that long to download Minecraft. Jeffy, just wait till 3.01 a.m. No, my piggies need to bang. My piggies need to go... What? What? And you're blue balling my piggies. Jeffy, you can play with your piggies at 3.01 a.m. My piggies need to bang. No, 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 no. My piggies oh, need no, no, to no, no. Okay, okay, please. Please do not break this laptop. Look, here. Yeah, yeah. Let, let your piggies bang. Do whatever you gotta do. All right, all right, hold on. Don't look at my password. I gotta log in. I'm not gonna look. Stop looking. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you watching? No, 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 nothing. Don't look. What well, does it sound like piggies to me? No, it was piggies. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you what it was. Well, show me what it was, no, Jeffy. No, 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 no. Oh, Jack, I'm back. <laughs> Jeffy, you get back here right now. Give me that laptop. No, Daddy, no. Give me the laptop, Jeffy. Uh, 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 Jeffy, do not drop that laptop off the balcony. You're yelling at me. I'm not yelling, Jeffy. Let, let's talk. Give me the laptop back, please. I don't want you to see what I was looking at. I don't care what you were looking at. Just give me the laptop back. There was a man and a woman dressed like piggies. Yeah, that's fine. Everybody watches that. And they were oinking. Jeffy, that, that's completely fine. Just please give me the laptop back. I'll do anything. All right, well, then say your ABCs backwards. What? On the first try, no pausing. I can't do that. One, two, three, go. Uh, Z, Y, X. W, U, you, uh, uh, you paused. What did I do? Hey, 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 hey! No hitting. Jimmy, you might have broke that laptop. God, please don't let it be broken. Jimmy, what are you doing? Stop it, Jimmy! I didn't want you to see the piggy. I don't care about the piggy, Jimmy. Oh, please let it still turn on. Jimmy, the screen's broken. It. Jimmy, it's completely broken. Why would you do that? Mission accomplished. You're grounded to the ah! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Come, it's gonna cut my ball sack off and make it into a hot air balloon. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe it's not broken. 
You know, the screen's broken and the corner's broken, but the hard drive, that, that's where the Bitcoin is in the hard drive. So I'm gonna call Apple tech support and see if they can help me fix the laptop and get the hard drive out. Yeah, I'm gonna call Apple tech support. All right, it's ringing. Hello, thank you for calling Apple tech support. My name is Camille Habib Habab. Camille as in camel, Habib Habab as in Bob for apples. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? Well, Camille, my Who? laptop. What? Who? Camille Habiba Bob, Camille is in camel, Habiba Bob is in Bob for apples. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? My Apple laptop is broken. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you happen to have the Apple Care Plan? No, I do not. Okay, well I suggest that you purchase it for $99.99. Okay, I'll buy it. Well, unfortunately you can't buy it on your current laptop. You should have bought it at the time of purchase. Why are you, why are you trying to sell it to me then if I can't buy it? Because I'm just trying to propose it to you for your future Apple product. Well, I don't need it. I don't want it. I I just want you to help me fix my current laptop. Okay, do you mind telling me what is wrong with your current laptop? My son threw it off a balcony and hit it with a hammer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, that's not covered by the accidental damage warranty. I don't care about the warranty. Like, help me fix it right now. Okay, well, first of all, we have to go through some quick troubleshooting techniques. All right, okay, oh, okay. yes, hurry up. All right, so first on the list, I'm gonna need you to turn it off and turn it back on. I said it was broken. He hit it with a hammer. Okay, sir, I can't proceed forward until you turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, it's off. It's permanently off. Okay. All right, now what is the screen showing? Hammer mark, hammer mark, hammer mark, broken glass. Okay, well, you're going to have to exit out of those screens in order to proceed. It's, it's not a screen. It, 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 the laptop is off. Okay, all right. One more thing. We're gonna. I'm going to need you to go into settings. I can't go into settings. The laptop won't turn on. And hit the reset button. I can't do that. All right, sir. Unfortunately, there's nothing else I can do further. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to mail you a shipping label. You'll get it in two to three business days. And then you pack up your laptop, ship it to us. We fix it and we send it back to you in three to four weeks. Three to four weeks? I need to fix tonight, like, like in the next hour. Well, unfortunately, there's no way I can do that, sir. The troubleshooting is not working. Oh, okay, well, well, can you come to my house and fix it? Like, where are you at? Sir, I'm in Egypt. Egypt? Well, can you get me someone in America? Oh, uh, yeah, I can transfer you to my supervisor named Kevin. Oh, okay, yeah, get me to Kevin. Is he in America? Yep, hold on one moment, please. Okay, good. Kevin, a nice American name. Hello, thank you for calling Apple Tech Support. My name is Kevin. This is not Kevin, this is Kevin. <laughs> okay, no, no, I don't need their help. I'll just call a computer repair man that can come to my house tonight and fix it. Yes. Hey there, you call Big Shirts Computer Repair? We wear big shirts and we repair computers. I'm the one that came with the big shirts part. Yeah, he did. Well, who is this? This is my brother, Jonathan. Good day, sir. You don't have to tip your fedora to everybody you meet, Jonathan. If you didn't like the fedora, you could have said something. I don't have a problem with the fedora. It's the big shirts I don't like. Do we really need these? Yes, it's part of the name. It's Big Shirts Computer Repair Services. Would it make sense if it were Regular Shirts Computer Repair Services? No. Well, I don't understand. Can't we just change the name? I don't really understand why no, we... No, 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 no. It has to be Big Shirts Repair Services. Because if it weren't, we would just be the same as everyone else. It's what separates us from the competition. The boys from the men. Well, I, I don't really get it because Tight Jeans Computer Repair Services is doing okay. You keep your dirty name shut your mouth! Oh, okay, wait, wait. What is going on here? Look, my mom came to me and she said, your 32-year-old brother's still living at home. Could you please help him start a company? So I came to Jonathan and I said, hey, Jonathan, what kind of company do you want to start? And he said, I want to either sell big shirts or repair computers. And I said, well, which one do you want to do, Jonathan? And he said, how about we wear big shirts while repairing computers? And I said, no, Jonathan, you're going to have to pick one or the other. So he went to our mom and he complained that I was being mean to him. So now we wear big shirts while repairing computers. It's a great idea, honestly. No, Jonathan, it's not a good idea because we've only been open for a day and a half and he's our only customer. Well, I only called you guys because you're the only 24-hour computer repair shop. Which was another one of Jonathan's stupid ideas because it's 1 o'clock in the morning and he had to get me out of bed for this. Silly goose forgot his shirt. I didn't break into his house and everything that climbed to your window. <laughs> you have such an ugly laugh. Hey. You keep talking like that, and you're gonna be put on Santa's naughty list. Jonathan, you're 32 years old. Why do you still believe in Santa Claus? See, this is why I got two Xbox Ones for Christmas last year, and you didn't get anything. No, Jonathan, the reason you get two Xbox Ones for Christmas is because you still live at Mom's house. No, 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 we both know that's not true. Listen, that's not true. Mom bought the house, and then there was an addition made, the basement, and that's where I live, Mom's basement. 
Yeah, you live in mom's basement. Precisely. Okay, I don't care where you live. I don't care how you started the company. I don't care about anything. Can you fix my computer or not? Oh, I didn't know there was a lady presence. Hey, sexy. Looks like you've been in an abusive relationship. Don't worry. Daddy's gonna fix you. What is he doing? He thinks computers are women. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, can he, can he fix the... What, can you fix the computer or not? Uh, listen, man, at this point, you probably should just buy a new computer. Well, I just need you to take the hard drive out. Sir, I am not at a hard drive. Maybe like, maybe like a half drive. Just give me a couple moments and I'll be at a full on hard drive. Ugh. Okay, okay, listen, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be serious with you. I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this shit. Oh, listen, listen. So, um, there is a thousand Bitcoin on this hard drive. What, a thousand Bitcoin? A thousand Bitcoin. Sixty-eight million dollars on this hard drive, and I just need to get it out, because I, I cannot lose that money. Wait, you serious? I'm being completely serious, so I don't have time for whatever he's doing. Can, can you just get the hard drive out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, Jonathan, uh, could, could you cut the crap for Excuse a second? Excuse me, I'm busy. Uh, Jonathan, I need, you, I need you to knock this shit off, Jonathan. This is important, okay? Brooklyn guy, I never interrupt you when you're busy, except for when I woke you up. Yeah, like your an wife. hour but, ago. But, yeah, okay. but listen, no, I, I'm about to use my feet, Cory. Don't ruin this for me. Jonathan, listen to me. I need you to take this computer and put it in the car. But why would I push it in the car? I thought we were fishing it. Because that's that's where the computer repair station is. <laughs> no, well, it's not. Well, it's well, a Hyundai Sonata. Well, are, you, are you gonna bring it back if you take it? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take it. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna bring it right back, right, Jonathan? Why would you? Why would you need to bring it anywhere if we're just gonna fix it right just, here? Just put it in the car. Come on. Just okay, fine, fine. Well, well, I, I put it in the car. Well, make sure you bring it back. I, I told you I was on it. Go, Jonathan. Go, 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 go. You know, if you play your cards right, you might be able to join us. <laughs> Don't want to join you. Just go, 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 go. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I forgot my fedora. Forget your fedora. I'll buy you 68 million fedoras. Oh man, I really hope those guys can fix that computer. Goodman's gonna kill me. Wait, that guy left his fedora. Wait, oh, hold on. That might be them. Uh, hello? Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? Marvin, I messed up. You know the laptop I gave you? Uh, yeah? Well, that was actually my son's laptop, and he has a book report on it that's due at school at 9 a.m. in the morning. So I'm gonna need that back. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 what, what happened to the Bitcoin laptop? Oh, I accidentally got it confused with my son's laptop, and so I decided I'll just sell the Bitcoin. So I do need my son's laptop back. Wait, so, so you need that laptop back? Yeah, so go get it. Uh, uh... Go get it. Well, well you see, the funniest thing, I, uh, I, I sold that laptop for, um, uh, this hat. Why the f*** would you do that? Well, I really like this hat. Oh, give me the damn hat. I'm gonna try that hat. Oh, huh, you're right, it is a nice hat. So you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go upstairs and write my son's book report and have it ready by 9 a.m. Or else I'm gonna be wearing this hat while riding in a hot air balloon made out of your ball sack. Oh, so oh, go get writing. Oh, okay, oh, what's, the, what, what's it about? What's the book report about? Cream cheese. Cream cheese? Yep, two pages on cream cheese. Get it done, 9 a.m. Oh, okay. So, where are we going, Brickson guy? Vegas, we're rich. You got that laptop on yet? Of course I have it on. Oh, we got a thousand Bitcoin on there? Not quite, but we do have a thousand Wallace on cream cheese. Cream cheese? No, 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 no. There has to be a thousand Bitcoin on there. Nope, just a very detailed essay on cream cheese. Mmm, damn you, cream cheese! Oh man, Joseph, I can't believe we're at a skate park. I know, dude. Skateboarding is so fun and easy. Really? Yeah, dude. They used to call me Joseph Hawk. Yeah, you know, because uh, Tony Hawk, that's my dad. He just says to come and see me or pay child support. Oh, but I'm going to go ahead and go down. <laughs> oh man, he made it look so easy. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Whoa, dude, you wiped out. Well, shut up, Joseph. It's my first time. Oh, I can tell. But, dude, look, it happens to everybody. Everybody who sucks. <laughs> dude, watch me go and grind on this rail. <laughs> watch me do this shit grind, dude. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, Joseph. See, look, you wiped out, so you suck, too. Oh, no, he don't, dude. There was a fly in my face and, and gum on the rail. I don't see gum on the rail. Look, shut up, dude. I'm the best skater ever. My dad's Tony Hawk, and I'm going to prove it to you by doing the sickest move in the book. The hardest move. What, what's the hardest move? The 360 Vario McTwist. Is it hard? Is it hard? <laughs> Is it hard? <laughs> Dude, look, three people tried it and 299 people have died. How'd that many people die if only three people tried it? Uh, the dude tried it with a chainsaw and firing an AK. Uh, he was doing too much. But look, I'm going to stick to landing. Watch me, dude. Uh, get my board. Dude, I'm so ready. So, Joseph, how are you going to do this trick again? Okay, dude, I'm going to go down this ramp and then go up that ramp, uh, pop an ollie, 360 spin, and then do two backflips while I stick the landing and steal all the babes. <laughs> Joseph, that sounds impossible. Dude, impossible is my middle name. <laughs> That's why they called me Joseph Impossible. 
Mohawk. I thought your name was Joseph, his friend from school. Yeah, I legally changed it so I could make friends. <laughs> Watch me do the trick, dude! Joseph, are you okay? Oh no, my bag! Oh, Joseph, you broke your shell! Wait, what? My shell? Yeah, it shattered! Oh no! Dude, take me to the hospital fast! Do you have health insurance? No, no, dude, I'm poor! Oh, okay, I'm gonna take you to my house, Joseph. We're gonna get you some help. We're gonna get you some help. Oh, okay, dude! Dude, I'm in so much pain! Yeah, I can see that. Why aren't you doing something, dude? You want a Cheeto? No, I don't want a Cheeto, dude! I want a doctor! You don't have health insurance, Joseph. A doctor won't see you. Well, well maybe he'll do it for free. <sighs> Let me FaceTime him and see. Hurry up, please. Hey there, somebody FaceTime a doctor? Uh, hey, doctor. Um, I was calling because I have a few questions about my friend. Okay, what's going on? Well, uh, he was skateboarding, and he did a sick trick, and he landed on his shell, and he broke it. Ouch, that sounds like it hurts. Uh, Joseph, does it hurt? Dude, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Yeah, well, I said it sounded like it hurt, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, so can you fix him? Well, yeah, sure. I can just uh, give him a new shell, you know, make him nice and shiny, and uh, he'll be good as new. You know, of course, as long as he has health insurance. But, I mean, who doesn't have health insurance, right? Uh, he doesn't have health insurance. Oh. But I can pay you in Cheetos. Y yeah, sorry, that, that that's not going to work. My I, I can't pay my bills with Cheetos. Wait, wait, what kind? Uh, they're crunchy. Yeah, see, that's not gonna work. My electric company only takes flaming hot Cheetos or puffy Cheetos, not not crunchy. Oh, so you can't help him? No, but I mean, you could find a good doctor on Craigslist. There's a ton of good doctors on there. Well, maybe I can find your mom on Craigslist. You little <laughs> talking about my mother. Put your face near the phone so I can pretend I'm punching you. Okay. What, Joseph? I went on Craigslist and I found you a doctor. Well, you did? He's right here. No, 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 no. Dude, that's a clown. Mm -mm. Screwball. His name's Screwball, and unlike the other doctor, he will get paid in Cheetos. Mm -hmm. So pay up. Oh. <sighs> yeah. oh. Oh, you missed. Well, anyway, he can make you a new shell. Wait, really? You can make him a new shell, right? Yep, I already did. It's right here. Whoa, Joseph, look at your new shell. Wait, wait, dude, it's a balloon. Look, just be grateful and try it on. <laughs> okay. Do you love it? No, dude, it's a balloon. It doesn't fit. I need an actual shell. Well, can you make an actual shell? Mm-mm. Where are my Cheetos? <sighs> Here's your payment. Mm, Cheetos. So you don't like your shell? No, I don't like my shell. <laughs> well, I don't I don't know what to do, Joseph. You got to accept your balloon shell, because I don't know anyone else that can give you a shell. Dude, I need an actual shell. Dude, I would do anything for a shell. Wait, hey, hey. Ah! What are you doing here? I heard him say he would do anything for a new shell. Wait, wait, I didn't say that. Joseph, don't lie. You said it. Nobody likes liars. Okay, I said it, dude. <laughs> yeah, you said it. So what would he have to do for a new shell? All he would have to do is just give me his soul. Wait, hey. Wait, my soul? That's it? Wait, Joseph, you actually give him your soul? Yeah, I'll give him my soul. I'm not using it. What do I need it for? Let's do it. Okay. okay. What type of shell would you like? You could get one with spikes on it. Ooh, a spiky one. Or one with built-in speakers. Oh, speakers? Ooh, yeah, I like that. Wait, I can customize it? Yeah, this is Pimp My Shell. Ooh, I like this. Um, how about a red one? Ooh, I like a red one. Yeah, I know, it's gonna be cool. Ooh, a red one with wings. Oh, yeah, with wings. Yeah, ooh, a red one with wings. And can I get red shoes to match? Okay, is there anything else you like? No, that's it. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. All right, here you go. Blay, hey! Aw, sick, dude! Wait, Joseph, did you say the S word? No, I said aw, sick, dude. Oh, okay, I thought you said a bad word. I was gonna go tell my mommy. No, no. Anyway, Joseph, that's a cool new shell! I know, dude, it's so red! And it has wings! Yeah, wait, what? It has wings! No, uh-huh. What's wrong, Joseph? I didn't want wings, I wanted a plate of wings! I'm hungry! Oh, well, then you should have specified! <laughs> Too bad! Anyway, thanks for the soul! See you later! Literally! Oh, wait, are you gonna eat this Cheeto? No, you can have it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Joseph, your new shell is so cool. I know, dude, and it's so much better than yours. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, dude, mine's is new, red, and it has wings. Look, yours is just old, green, and ugly. Well, yours used to be green. Yeah, used to be. And then I got cooler and I got a new shell with wings. <laughs> I can fly. 
<laughs> Joseph, you can't fly. The hand that's controlling you is just hovering. Shut up, dude. Stop hating on my new shell. Why are you so jealous? I'm not jealous of your new shell, Joseph. You're just acting mean. I'm not acting mean. Stop being sensitive. Well, you, you insulted my shell because you got a new one. It's just old and spiky. Nobody likes spikes anymore. Well, you're just stupid. Yours has wings. What are you, in a Red Bull commercial? Look, look. I'm just going to go and find some new friends since you're so jealous of my new shell. Well, I'm not jealous of it. That shell changed you. Oh, it changed me? Nah, it just changed the friends around me. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. You know what, Joseph? You're stupid. You're not even flying. You're just, you're just doing this. And shut up, Joseph. I'm gonna call Cody. Hey, Junior, what's up? Hey, Cody. Joseph's a stupid poopy butt face. Why is Joseph a stupid poopy butt face? Because he broke his shell and he got a new one and he thinks he's so cool. How'd he break his shell? We were at the skate park and he was doing a really cool trick, but he landed on his shell and he broke it. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. But then he made a deal with the devil and he sold his soul for a new shell. That doesn't sound like a good deal. Well, his new shell's red and it has wings. It does sound pretty cool. It's so cool, Cody, but but Joseph's acting really mean. Well, how mean is he acting? What's up, dork? Wait, wait, are you talking to Cody on the phone? Are you telling him how dorky you are? We're, no, no, we're talking about how you're so stinky. Stinky? Really, Junior? Shut up, Cody, I got this. Wow, your insults are just like your shell. Bad. <laughs> good one, dude. Yeah, that was good. Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> well, well, Joseph, who are those people? Oh, they're my new friends. This is Gooms. What's up, dude? And this is my other friend, Bully Bill. What's up? Yeah, <laughs> they like me. They're not jealous of my shell like you are. Uh, I'm not jealous of your shell. Your shell is really stupid. No, it's not. My shell is new. Isn't it nice, guys? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's cool. See, they like it. They're not jealous. Yours is just old green. Greasy, dirty. Ugh, it, should, it belongs in the dumpster. That's what it should be. You, you know what, Joseph? You need to get punched in the face. No, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you can't reach me because I got wings. <laughs> hey guys, how about we jump them? Let's show them some power. <laughs> yeah, let's leave, guys. Uh, uh, Cody, why didn't you have my back? What, Cody? Oh, sorry, Junior. I, I was in the bathroom, but I didn't want to take the phone in there because I didn't want you to be shocked by how big it is. Well, Cody, I just got beat up by Joseph and his new friends. Oh, well, that sucks. So sorry, I missed it. Well, why didn't you get, have my back? Why didn't you fight him back? Well, Junior, I couldn't help you anyway. I'm on a phone. Well, did you see how mean Joseph's being? Well, I didn't really see anything because the camera's facing the couch, but I heard him and he sounded like a jerk. Yeah, he's acting really mean. So, so how do I get the old Joseph back? I miss Joseph with his old shell. Well, I think what you have to do is break his new shell. What, break his new shell? That, that could hurt him. What, what if I sell my soul to the devil and I get an even cooler shell than his? No, no, Junior, that's stupid. Just break his new shell and then he won't think he's cool anymore and he'll stop being a jerk. I guess you're right, Cody. I'm gonna go break Joseph's new shell. Okay, I just finished my birdhouse. Now I'm gonna tell Joseph that I got him a gift and when he comes and sees it, I'm gonna hit him in the shell with this hammer and break it. It's perfect. <laughs> Joseph, ow! <laughs> I'm playing with your arrogance. Wait, what do you want, dork? Well, what are you guys doing in my playroom? Playing with your toys. What are you going to do about it? It's three against one. Well, uh, Joseph, I came here because I made you an I'm sorry for being jealous gift. <laughs> See, guys, I knew he was jealous. I told you. Well, I'm not jealous. I mean, I am really jealous of your new shell, so I made you a gift to say I'm sorry. So, uh... Come in the kitchen. I, I want to show it to you. I guess I could come and see what it is. Look, guys, this dork wants to show me something. I'll be right back, okay? All right. All right, dude. What's the stupid gift you made me? Well, since you have wings and you fly around, I made you a birdhouse. Wait, my own house? Yeah, you know, you fly around, so I thought, why don't you live in a birdhouse? Dude, I haven't lived in a house in years. Wow, you are a best friend. Wait, wait I'm your best friend? Yeah, dude, you're my best friend. Like, who makes a house? For someone. Well, what about those other friends you have? They're not really my friends, dude. They just like me for my shell. Oh, well, I mean, I was gonna break your shell with this hammer because you're being really mean, but I guess I don't have to do that now. Dude, you're my best friend. Well, look, you don't have to break my shell. Look, I'll fly you around. How about that? Come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, Joseph. I'm so glad we're best friends again. Me too, dude. I was so afraid you weren't gonna be my friend anymore because then I'd have to hang out with Cody. Oh, dude, that sounds awful. I know, right? Yeah. Junior, you never hung out. Oh man, I can't wait to laugh my head off at Charlie and Friends! It's the funniest show ever! <laughs> Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Freeze, this is Stickle! Oh, hi guys. I'm Charlie. And I'm at the ATM. I'm about to get this bread. <laughs> Here's the bread. I can't believe I left it here. Oh, I'm gonna go and make a sandwich. <laughs> oh, Charlie, that is so hilarious. I thought you were talking about money, not actually.
actual bread. <laughs> and that's not a refrigerator. That's an ATM, you silly goose. You can't keep your bread in there. <laughs> and you didn't even check the expiration date. Oh, my God. He is a fool. <sighs> wait, wait. Speaking of bread, I kind of want some pizza. Hey, baby. So I heard you wanted my ding dong. <laughs> I only got one left, but it has your name on it. <laughs> so uh, just let me know when you're ready for some cream filling, okay? Chef Pee Pee! Oh, I gotta go, bye. Uh, what, Bowser? Chef Pee Pee, I'm hungry, and I want you to order me a pizza. Why don't you order it yourself, Bowser? Because I'm shy. I don't like to talk on the phone. I'm an introvert. Look, I sit in my room all day and watch TV. What part of that do you not understand? So here's $100, okay? I want you to order my pizza and bring me my exact change back. And if you don't, I'm going to turn the stove on, put your face on it, and turn Chef BB into a, a Chef Grilled Cheese face. Yeah. So uh, order my pizza and bring my change back. And, and I'm going to take your ding dong. Wait, no, not my ding dong. That's for the ladies, Bowser. Oh, I guess I'll order the pizza. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny! Oh dude, that is hilarious! <laughs> Oh, all right, Junior, do not ask him what's funny. You're only going to give him the attention he wants. <sighs> everybody got to see this. Oh, my God, everybody got to see this. Still not going to ask him. I don't, I don't care what's on his phone. I don't care. <sighs> hey, Joseph. Huh? What, what's funny on your phone? Oh, my phone? Uh, nothing. Uh, it's not even that funny. Uh, so what you want to do, dude? Uh, I want to buy Animal Crossing, but it costs like $60. I don't have $60. Well, why don't you just get money from Chef Pee Pee? <gasps> You're right. Chef Pee Pee has a lot of money. Let me go ask him. Okay. Uh, hello? Yes, I would like to order a pizza. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Junior, shut up. I'm trying to order this pizza for your dad. Yes, I would like to order a pepperoni pizza. Ooh, add pickles. Junior, pickles don't go on the pizza. Well, add ketchup. Junior, ketchup don't go on the pizza either. Why would I put ketchup on the pizza? Or order mustard on it. Junior, mustard don't go on a pizza either. That's stupid. Why I put mustard on a pizza? Well, well, can I borrow sixty dollars, Chef Pee Pee? Junior, I don't have sixty dollars. Okay, I have to pay for a pizza. Well, what about this hundred right here? That goes to the pizza, Junior. Well, how much does the pizza cost? Does the pizza cost twenty dollars? Okay, well then why can't I use like sixty of this? Uh, because your dad wants all of his change, so I can't give you any money. Okay. Well, why don't you say the pizza costs like eighty dollars? Junior, the pizza don't cost no eighty dollars. What's wrong with you? You stupid. Sorry, Chef Pee Pee. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Look, I have to walk away from this annoying brat. <laughs> What's funny, Joseph? Oh, nothing. You ain't get it. Chef Pee Pee gave me $100. Whoa, that man's generous. How did you get him to give you so much money? Uh, well, uh, I told him that he forgot my birthday last year and he didn't give me anything. So he got me $100 right now. Dude, you should tell him it's my birthday. Joseph, you know he doesn't care about your birthday. Oh, you're right. Nobody cares about me. So now I get to buy my $60 game. Wait, wait, dude, how much money would you have left after you paid for that game? Well, my game is $60. Okay. Chef Pee ordered a pizza and that's $20. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have $20 left over. <gasps> dude, can I borrow $5 so I can get some candy from the gas station? Well, it's my dad's money, but... I don't see why not. Aw, oh, thanks, man. You're such a good friend. Well, get me some candy, too, okay? Okay, uh, what kind of candy do you want? Just surprise me. Oh, I can surprise you, dude. But don't spend all the money. Only spend $5. Oh, I won't spend it all. Dude, you can trust me. I only spend $5. <laughs> <laughs> dude, look at all this candy I bought. Whoa, Joseph, that's a big bag of candy. Dude, I know. I got Snickers, Reese's, Kit Kats. Oh, dude, I even got Nerds Rope. Oh, oh you lucky they didn't have that 200 years ago. <laughs> so that cost five dollars? Huh? That bag of candy cost five dollars? Uh, no, it cost twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? Yeah. The joke that you always supposed to spend five dollars. Dude, I tried not to spend all your money, but when I saw that candy, I went bonkers. <laughs> well, Come on, it was Snickers, Kit Kats, Reese's. Well, I mean, I can still buy my game, and Chef Pee can still buy his pizza. Joseph, what's that? Another bag. Another bag of candy? Yeah. How 
much was that? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Yeah. So you spent eighty dollars on candy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so at least Chef Pee can still buy his pizza. I'll just miss out on my game. Uh, no, he's not gonna be able to buy that pizza. W w why? I bought a scratch-off ticket and lost. I have a problem. You, you spent all the money? Yes, I spent all the money. No, you spent a hundred dollars on candy. Eighty dollars on candy and twenty on a scratch-off ticket. It jumped up. What? Oh, look, oh, how am I supposed to buy my game? You're not gonna buy your game, dude. We can just play Operation with your mouth after you eat all this candy. Well, okay, well then how much shape are we gonna buy the pizza? Oh, he's not gonna buy that pizza. Well, then what are we gonna eat? Nothing. But nothing. Yeah, yeah, dude, look, he doesn't need pizza. We have candy. He can just munch on that. Well, Joseph, okay, I, I lied to you. Chef PB didn't give me the money. It was my dad's money, and I stole it. I was just going to give him the change back. But what's my dad going to do when he doesn't get change? Nothing, dude. Just give him candy. He won't get mad. Look, who gets mad? Nobody gets mad at the guy in the van who has candy and offers a lollipop. You just do what he says for the lollipop. I guess you're right, Joseph. Yeah, I know I'm right. And maybe Chef Pee won't even notice I stole the $100. He'll probably just use a credit card or something. Exactly. Don't worry about it, dude. Oh, man. When is the pizza going to be here? Oh, that must be the pizza right now. Ooh, I hope it's a hot pizza lady so I can give her my ding-dong. Hey, 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 baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a woman. Oh, uh, yeah, I get that a lot. But uh, do you got my $20 for this pizza? Oh, yes, sir. I got it. Uh, excuse me. Let me get it out of the kitchen. All right. Where is that money? Wait. Wait. I know I put that money right here. Where, where's the money? Come on. Where's that money? Uh, come on. The pizza man's waiting on me. God dang it. Where's that money? Oh, I, I don't want Bowser to put my face on this freaking stove. Where is that money? Oh, wait. Junior! Junior, where is that money? Junior, did you take my money? Wait, wait, hold on just a second, sir. Junior! <gasps> oh no, Chef Baby's coming! Oh no, I'm out of here, dude! What? And I'm gonna take uh, these with me. What is that, Junior? Junior! What did you do with the $100 that was sitting on the kitchen counter? What $100? Don't play with me, Junior. You know what $100? You stole the $100 that was on the counter. Chef Baby, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so you don't know what I'm talking about? No. Then how did you buy all this candy, huh? Come here, you stupid thought. Uh, you thought you could get away, huh? Ah, come here, come here. Uh, it died. Junior, what did you do with the hundred dollars? Uh, okay, look, Chef Pee, Pee. I wanted to buy a game that was sixty dollars, and then you still would have had forty left over, and you could have bought the pizza and gave Dad change. But Joseph took my hundred dollars and he bought a hundred dollars worth of candy. Wait, what? Oh, Junior, your dad is going to kill me! Wait, wait, and there's the pizza man downstairs! Look, you're going to go and explain to the pizza man how we can't pay for this pizza! Oh, don't make me do that! Oh, no, you're going to go and do it! <sighs> okay, Chef Pee Pee. God, what am I going to do? Uh, hey. Look, I've been waiting out here for like, ever for you to come and pay for this pizza. So is you going to pay for this pizza, or is I'm going to run it over with my car? Well, how much is the pizza? Uh, $20. Well, see, that's where you're mistaken, sir, because this pizza is supposed to be free. Wait, wait, free? Yeah, look, on the box it says, free pizza. It's supposed to be free. Hmm. Well, if my eyes do not deceive me, it does look like it say free on them. Yeah, it's free because we won the Piece of the Pie Awards. Wait, wait, you, you won an award? Yeah, well, award, yeah, and and because we had enough points. See, the box says it, so this is supposed to be a free pizza. We're not supposed to pay for it. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, here's your pizza then for Th winning. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. <laughs> My beautiful face. I don't want Bowser to burn it. <laughs> Chef Pee Pee, I got the pizza. Wait, what? How? I got it for free. Wait, wait, you didn't do any special favors for this pizza, did you? No, look, the box says free pizza. Wait, wait, that doesn't mean it's free, Junior. Well, the guy didn't know that, so he gave it to me. Okay, that solves the pizza problem, but what about the change problem? How are we going to get the change for your dad? Well, let's just tell him that we tipped the pizza guy $80. Why would we tip the pizza guy $80? Junior, that's stupid. Well, 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 maybe he's homeless. Why would there be a homeless guy delivering pizza? Well, maybe he's hungry. I, I don't know. <sighs> look, look, you're going to go and explain to your dad what happened to that money, okay? Okay, Chef PB. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to burn my face. All right, Dad, here's your pizza. Oh, man, I've been starving. Oh, thank you, Junior. Wait, where's my change? Uh, there is no change. You know what? Chef Pee Pee, it's time for your face to get cooked. Well, no, 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 Dad, that, that was $80 in change, but I gave it to the pizza delivery guy as a tip. Wait, what? Why would you tip the pizza? 
the guy eighty dollars. Well, because he had no arms or, or legs or, or eyes or eyes or, or a body. It was, it was just a head. Wait, wait, really? Dang, that's sad. Yeah, he was a ghost. Wait, a ghost? Yeah, so I tipped him eighty dollars so he wouldn't spook us. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're doing. Nice thinking, Junior. You know, get on the ghost good side. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't spook us. Yeah, he doesn't scare us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you want to be a friend with a ghost? He said he'll be our best friend now. Oh, really? Wait. Our best friend? Yeah, he wants to be our best friend. You should invite him over here. Tell him to come here. I want to meet him. Well, well, uh, well, he said he had to go to the cemetery for like a week. He had to go? Come yeah. on, he's a ghost, Junior. <laughs> Look, he could pop up anywhere. Well, Tell him to come here. Well, well, or I'm going to think you're lying, okay? Uh, uh, okay. So, you better go and get that ghost right now. Okay, I'll go get him. <laughs> Ooh, I'm have a ghost friend. I'm going to have a ghost friend. Oh, man, my dad wants to see a ghost. How can I be a ghost? Oh, how can I be a ghost? How can I be a ghost? Man, oh man, I can't wait to see that ghost! Boo! Ah, it's a ghost! Hey! Oh, 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 hey, Mr. Ghost. Oh, I'm sorry, you scared me. Thank you so much for the $80. Oh, you're welcome. It's nice to help out a friend in need. Well, I have to go now. We, we, you have to leave already? Yes, I have to do ghost things. Oh, that sucks. Well, can I at least get a hug? No, 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 no! Hey, Junior! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, look at that! Look at that! I got you, Dad! Come here, Dad! Get away from me! Come here! Oh, can't go too far! I got you! Roar! Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm in my lion costume, Daddy! A lion doesn't go. Well, this one does. Jeffy, look, take your costume off. It's not Halloween. No, Daddy, I just want you to put it on to make sure it was scary! Roar! Is it scary? No, it's not scary, Jeffy. Well, I bet if I ate someone's face off, it'd be scary. Jeffy! You're not Jeffrey Dahmer, you're a lion. Well, my name's Jeffy. Look, just, just, just go outside, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. Roar! <sighs> Wee! I'm playing at the playground with my pants on, no shoes, and my pants are down. This is a good day. Wee! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, it's a lion! Oh, 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 no! <laughs> 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 So, baby. Yeah, Marvin? Jeffy's outside and we're all alone. Oh! <laughs> so I was thinking maybe I can give you a full body massage. Okay, Marvin. I see where this is going. See what it leads to. Oh, you're sick! You're sick! You're just sick! <laughs> I got you, Marvin! That's disgusting! <laughs> no, Let's do it again! No, the, the news is on. Let's so watch the news. Breaking news, MK! Okay? A lion has escaped from the local zoo and attacked a child at a park. We have an exclusive interview with the child now. Let's go to that. So I was at the park with my favorite pencil that I always bring with me to the park, and then suddenly a lion attacked me and I stabbed him in the nose. Wow, truly terrifying. If you've seen this lion, please call 911 immediately. There's a $10,000 reward for anyone who finds him. Marvin, there's a lion on the loose and Jeffy's outside! You have to go get him! Okay, I'll go get him. Oh, thank God, Jeffy, there you are. You have to go inside right now. There's a lion on the loose. Don't you yell at me, Jeffy. Get inside. Jeffy, knock it off. Oh, good, Marvin. You found Jeffy. Yeah, but he won't stop acting like a lion. Wow, Jeffy, your roar's gotten really good. <laughs> Jeffy, just go to your room. Poor <laughs> Jeffy! What did he do, Marvin? He clawed open the couch! Jeffy, you're not a real lion. You can't do that. Yeah, Jeffy, go cut your fingernails. <laughs> oh, it's gonna cost so much money to fix the couch. All right, world, hear me roar! Roar! Oh, hey, what's going on? Gotcha, you little bastard. Don't worry, everybody, I caught the lion. Where are you taking me? What, a talking lion? No, 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 I think I still have some of those brownies in my system. Come on, let's go put you down. Oh baby, yeah, oh, I love the way that feels, oh, I'm almost there, oh! Hey, Shaggy B, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Junior, I'm beating my meat, oh, leave me alone, let me beat it in peace. I can help. Oh, Cody, I know how to beat my meat by myself, okay, leave me alone. I can use my mouth. Just, just get out of here, get out of here, scram, you little brat! God. What happened to my meat? Who took my meat? Junior! What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? What did you guys do with my meat? Well, we didn't do anything with it. You wouldn't let me help. Look, I was beating my meat, then you guys came in there and bothered me, now it's gone! Well, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I can help you get it back up. Yeah, help me get it back! Alright, whip it out. No, 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 not that! I'm talking about my steak! 
steak? What steak? Oh my god, god, Cody! Marvin! What's wrong, Chef PB? Have you guys seen my meat? What? Seen your meat? Yes, it's big and floppy. I was just beating it in the kitchen. What? No, we haven't seen your meat. Come on now. Somebody seen it, because somebody grabbed it. Now tell me who grabbed it. I didn't grab your meat. Did you grab it? No, I didn't grab your meat. I know you grabbed it. You look like you grabbed meat. Come on now. No, you... I did not grab your meat. Baby, you grabbed his meat. Marvin, I didn't grab his meat. Now I wouldn't blame you if you wanted a taste of it. What? What? No, we didn't taste it. Look, tell me who grabbed it, and I'll give you a taste of it. I promise. Oh, no, no, I'm gonna call the cops. You're being perverted, Chef PB. What? Be perverted? I'm just talking about my steak. Wait, steak? Yes. Wait, wait. Look, he has it. What? Uh, Chef, you ate Chef PB's steak. Or give it back. Get my meat out your mouth. What? <laughs> get, get, it, it give it up. Your... Sorry, Chef PB. Yeah, that's my meat. Don't touch my meat no more. <laughs> Jeffy, you know what? You're a grounder for taking Chef Pee Pee's meat. Come on. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, lay down and go to sleep. It's past your bedtime anyway. Bye. Hey, you better calm down. You're lucky I'm letting you wear your lion costume to bed. Bye. Go to sleep. So, Marvin, did you get Jeffy to bed? Yeah, but he was fighting it. So, we're alone again. Yeah. Do you want to give me another back massage? Oh, no, I'm not going to fall for that again, Miss Toots Columbo. Well, come on, Marvin. How about if I give you a back massage? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, lay down. Hey, Marvin, look up real quick. What? <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you. The news is on, the, the, the news. Breaking news, okay? The lion that escaped from the zoo has been found. Since the animal attacked someone, he has been deemed too dangerous to keep alive. He is being euthanized by firing squad tomorrow on pay-per-view. Thank God they caught that lion before it hurt someone! Ugh, my eyes are so itchy. What's wrong, Marvin? My eyes are itchy. Oh my God, your eyes are pink! What, they're pink? Why would they be pink? I don't know, maybe you caught something! Call the doctor! Okay, I'm gonna call the doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a very happy doctor. Why are you so happy? Because I caught the lion. You lion! No, no I'm not. Hey, listen here, okay? It was on the news. There was proof. The city paid me to catch that lion, okay? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar because I caught the lion and it's gonna be executed tomorrow morning by firing squad on pay-per-view. Anyway, why'd you call me? Because my eyes are pink. Hmm. Well, that could be caused by one of two things. Either you've been having some of those special brownies I make, or you got pink eye. But what's pink eye? Well, it's when you get shit in your eye. What? Yeah, you get some fecal particles in your eye, and it makes them all red and itchy. What, fecal particles? Yeah, you know, doo-doo. What, what, how would doo-doo get in my eye? Well, I don't know. Uh, I guess sometimes when you're wiping your butt, you know, and your finger breaks through the toilet paper, you get some poo-poo on your finger, and then you rub your eye, and then, you know, you get pink Who would do that? You, apparently. Well, no, that's not what I did. What? Could it happen from someone farting in your face? Well, yeah, but why would that ever happen? What if your wife did it to you twice? What? Oh my god, did, did she do that? It was a prank! Yeah, she farted right in my face. No, 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 do you want to press charges? I would like to, yeah, because she farted right in my face. It was wet and stinky. If it my, was funny! If my wife did that to me, they would make a Netflix documentary about what I did. I would kill her. What, you, uh, listen, how do I fix the pink eye? Well, I could give you some, uh, you know, some antibiotic eye drops, but I don't have those on me, so you'd have to go to a pharmacy, you know, like Walgreens or CVS or Walmart Pharmacy, or Kmart? Is that still a thing? I don't think they had pharmacies when they were around, so don't go there. Okay, so what do I do? Well, just don't let her fart on you again, but definitely get that looked at. Ugh, it's so itchy. Sorry. You gave me pink eye. I'm sorry! All right, everyone, my meat is ready. Who wants to taste it? Ooh, I'll try it. All right, baby, while you taste his meat, I'm gonna go ask Jeffy if he's hungry, because he hasn't ate anything for dinner. Okay. Wow, wow. Jeffy, are you hungry? <laughs> Jeffy? Listen, there's a steak in there if you want to eat some. Yeah. Okay, mister, for raising your voice at me, now you have to eat green beans. Yeah. So come on, come on. Baby, I'm going to go feed Jeffy green beans because he talked back to me. How was Chef Pee-Pee's meat? Oh, it was really good. Nice and juicy. Wait, there's no bite taken out of the steak. <laughs> Chef Pee-Pee strikes again! Oh, you Chef Pee-Pee, why I oughta... Ugh, I'm going to go feed Jeffy green beans. <laughs> Jeffy, stop chewing on the table. <laughs> I got you a big old plate of green beans, so eat up. That is it, mister! You are so grounded! Come on! Baby! I'm sorry, Marvin! It won't ever happen again! Wait, what? No, no, no! Jeffy threw his plate of green beans on the ground! Marvin, he always does that. Well, I'm sick of it, so you're grounded, Jeffy! And also, I found out that Jeffy has homework. Oh, well, why don't you help him with it, Marvin? Okay, Jeffy, I'll help you with your homework. Okay. Right. What is the estimate of 3.596 plus 2.4? Anyway, Jeffy, you're the one in school, not me. You're the one who has to do this homework. So do it. <laughs> Jeffy! Don't you worry. Bad, bad. bad. <laughs>
Oh, oh, he bit my head. He bit my head. Let go, Jay. Let go. Oh, he bit my head. Oh, my God, Marvin. Your head looks horrible. You need to call the doctor. Jimmy, I might press charges on you now that you're 18. You might go to jail. Ah. Oh, my God. My head hurts so bad. I'm going to call a doctor. I'm going to call a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor. My head! Hey, you are not going to raise your voice in me, sir, okay? We're going to use our inside voices like adults. Now tell me what happened. My hand! Jesus Christ, look at your hand! What happened? Oh, my God, has anybody seen his hand? My son bit my hand. What, your son did that? Yeah. <laughs> Th that's not your son, that's a lion. He's just in a lion costume. Huh, how about that? Wow, that is a really realistic lion costume. Where'd he get it? Spirit Halloween. No, he did not get that at a Spirit Halloween. No, if you don't want to tell me, just say so. Listen, what are we gonna do about my head? Man, that's pretty torn up. You want to press charges? Yeah, because he didn't even say he was sorry. Nah. Man, that looks pretty bad. You might need stitches. Yeah, it hurts really bad. Hold on, hold on, I'm having a flashback here. Hmm. Oh my god. What? I just remembered. I didn't wash my hands after I wiped. Ew, I'm gonna get pink eye now. Wait, don't wipe that on me. Hey, you already have pink eye. What do you care? That's gross. Wait, wait, wait. I'm having another thought. Huh. That lion I caught was in your front yard. You lion. Bitch, I already told you that it was on the news. There's proof, okay? Wait, 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 what, were you, what, what were you talking about? What were you talking about? I... Damn it, I forgot. You, you were saying something. We'll try to remember. Backtrack. Okay, hold on. Stinky fingers. Pink eye, wiped it on you, interrupting cow. You said there's a lion in my front yard. Yes, yes, the lion I caught was in your front yard, and he could talk. What, you he... lion! Hey, okay, I... I'll kill you. Oh, no, listen, you said he... Okay, you said a lion could talk? Lions can't talk. Oh, well, this lion could talk. H hold on, make your lion talk. Jeffy, say hi. <laughs> say what's up. <laughs> he can't talk. Hmm, this lion can't talk, but the lion I caught said he wasn't a lion. So he wasn't lion? Huh. Maybe he wasn't lying. Maybe he really wasn't a lion. Maybe I caught your son. What? And if I caught your son, then that means... Uh-oh! <laughs> ah! What do we do? I don't know, man. The only lion I ever caught was your son, and he came quietly. I don't want to die! Come on, think of something, think of something! Hmm... I have an idea. <laughs> oh, man. That is some good catnip. <laughs> I can see why cats love it so much. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, look at the lion. <laughs> he, he's just lying around. <laughs> Marvin, well, he's not a lion. He's a hyen. <laughs> because he is suited out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> Man's is stuck. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. But we gotta stop doing this to fix our problems. Wait. Wait, I gotta go save Jeffy before he's executed by firing squad tomorrow morning, and I gotta take the lion with me. Hey, hey, wake up, buddy. Uh, he's not waking up. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Hey, Marvin, I saved Jeffy just in the nick of time, too. They were about to blow his head off. Yeah, I felt like I was in Call of Duty. Good. That was, that was good. Wait, you guys ain't catnip without me? <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> Today was a wacky day. <laughs> Okay, all right, you know what? That's it. Oh, I'm good. I'm leaving. That was disgusting. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Are you cozy? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Don't want you to fall out of your straps. Oh, looks like your new home is hot and ready. Oh, there you go, little buddy. Oh, can't wait till you get done. See you at 15. Okay, time to bake the penguin pie. Oh. Yeah, big one, bye, 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 bye. Show baby! What you? What is it, Lord Bowser? My son is hungry. Dad, I'm not, I'm not that. Do you see him? Look, he, he looks thin. I'm not, th I'm fat, it's Dad. It's okay, my precious angel. It's Dad, okay. Don't call me angel. That's really gay. He's been starving for a whole two hours, and he needs something to eat. You make him anything that he wants, any and everything. If he wants a mountain of peanuts, make it for him. I don't want to. If he wants peanuts. to eat a phone book, make a phone book for him. I don't want to eat a phone if book. If he likes light bulbs, then you make it shine and then feed it to him. I don't. Why would I eat a phone? Okay. Light or, light or you're fired. Do you get this right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. 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 Uh, 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 shut up and cook! Wow, <laughs> your dad is really mean today. <laughs> yeah, you must be really hungry, huh? Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Whoa, look who's being a little smart today. <laughs> no, my dad said you had to cook whatever I want, so maybe something to eat. 
obviously, um, you need to tell me what you would like to eat. So what would you like to eat? Don't ask me that question. Um, hmm. Really? Uh, maybe some blueberry muffins. Right now! Oh, jeez, God. You're taking too long! <sighs> Look, I didn't even have to make it for you. Look, nice in in the package and it's a four that comes in the pack, okay? Are you happy? Are you satisfied now? Is your little stomach stop aching, huh? Maybe? I don't want that anymore! Oh, mm. What do you want then, son? Um, um, I want marshmallows! The hell am I gonna get marshmallows from? Hello, where are they at? There you go, nice in package in... Fluffy, whatever you like, okay? Now, is that what you, is that all? Is that all you need, huh? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Speak now or forever hold your penis. No! I don't want those! I want them in the shape of bunny rabbits! Are you gay or something? Who likes bunny rabbits? Oh. I do! I want bunny rabbit marshmallows! Bunny rabbit marshmallows! Bunny rabbit marshmallows! Get it! Shut up, you little here you go, you little princess. I got the bunnies for you. They're all blue and pink and fluffy and fresh from the Garden of Eden. They hop everywhere, laying beautiful, pretty little eggs for little bastards like you. Are you satisfied? Um, hold on. Hold on. They're nice and big. You can fit only two in your mouth at once. There's no yellow ones. Damn it, you! Uh, you're pissing me off! You are you, uh, unsatisfiable taste in marshmallows! What the hell is wrong with you? First you want bunny marshmallows, now you want bunny that are gold inside? They don't even make golden marshmallows! What is wrong with you? Uh, I specifically asked for yellow. <sighs> you know what? I don't even want marshmallows anymore. So what do you want? Hmm. I want. Yes. I want. Yes. I want some macaroni and cheese. Are you sure? That's simple. I can make that. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What shape? The, the, the regular kind, duh. What color? The orange yellow that it comes with? What, why would I want it in a different color? That's stupid. I'm just I'm just making sure that your mind is in the right place right now when it comes to macaroni and cheese. Okay, so say it one more time. I want macaroni and cheese. Okay, I'm gonna get the damn cheese and macaroni, whatever. <sighs> macaroni and cheese. It's yellow and it's the right shape. Like normal people in society would eat regular macaroni and cheese. <sighs> now it's time to turn on the stove. Hmm, okay. Wait, wait. Um, senor, you're on the stove. Cook there. And? I need to cook. I need you to get up. Deal with it. Cook around me. Listen here, you little fart bag. I'm going to tell you this once and one time only. You're going to get the up or off the damn stove right now, okay, son? And you're gonna go over there in your pretty little princess high chair, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna wait on this macaroni and cheese, okay? No! You're gonna wait on this macaroni and cheese in your high chair, way over there, okay? No! Come, come here. I don't want to sit in the high chair. You're sitting in your pretty I little don't high chair. I don't want to sit. And just enjoy it, okay? I don't Cooking want to. your food. I don't want to. I got your marshmallows. That's just like how you wanted them. All bunny and fluffy and all faggot like, okay? Now, you're going to sit there. You're going to like it while I cook your macaroni and cheese. Because I need this job. I don't want you to burn yourself on the stove. It would be enjoyable for me. But you might get me fired. And I don't need that, okay? So... Just chill, chew on your little bunnies, while I cook. I, I don't- SHUT UP! <clears throat> I don't want the marshmallow. Hey look, baby Bowser, look what I got for you. Macaroni and cheese, and it's the right shape and color. Is this acceptable to you? Yes. Okay, I'm about to cook it. <laughs> Finally, bastard. Okay, now we can finally set the stove. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, what do I need? I 
Thank you. Ah, what does it say? Okay, six cups of water, butter, and milk. Okay, I got this. Okay, six cups of water. This is two right here. No, no, I want it. I want to pour it. No, get back in your high chair. No, I, my dad lets me pour the water every time he makes it. Well, I'm not your dad. I'm pretty sure. I had a blood test. Four. But, but I want to pour. I want to pour it though. Get your ass back in the high chair right now. Let me pour it. Six. Ah, oh, too late. Ah, oh, man, you made me smell it. Go, go. I don't want to go back in the chair. No. no, I don't want to. No. I don't. You're want gonna to. sit there and you're gonna wait till this freaking food is finished, or I will slap you. Yeah. But I, I want to help. Slap. Stupid little idiot made me spill the freaking water. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. A little bit heavy. Is this thing hot? Get from by the stove. Get back in your seat. Oh, see you made me spill the freaking water. What is wrong with you? I just wanted to see if it was hot. <sighs> it's hot. It's red. You don't need to be by it. Didn't your father ever tell you that red stuff makes stuff hot or uh, red stuff is hot or just <clears throat> get your ass back in the baby seat, whatever it is. Okay, it's almost done completely boiling. And soon I'll be able to pour the macaroni. Can I pour? No! I'm the chef. I get to have all the fun in the kitchen, okay? You stay in your high chair, you do your thing over there. That's so why I got you marshmallows. Uh, 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 okay, yeah. Fun, fun, fun for the chef. But, uh, no, no buts unless it's in that high chair sitting down, okay? Where's my spoon? Can I get this? No! No! I was asking questions. Nice and big. Fun, fun, fun. Look at how much fun Chef PP is having. Stirring macaroni. It's like a little adventure. I wanna have fun. Swish, roller coaster ride. Swish, oh. It's making splashes like we're at a water slide. Oh. You wanna have fun? Yeah. No, no, cause I'm having all the fun. Oh man. C can I make one it's splash? It's like a little adventure, man. Oh. Can I make one splash? No, you can make a splash in your chair, in your diaper, cause you're a baby. Make a splash in your pants, okay? Oh, six flags all over again. Okay. Bowser's little demon, I have to go take a pee-pee. Chef pee-pee has to pee-pee, okay? So, while I'm gone, I would like for you not to touch the stove. Please don't touch the stove, okay? okay. I just have to take a little whiz, and then I will be right back, okay? Okay. okay. Don't, I will be watching. So, you better not get up at all. Okay, okay, I, okay. I, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Okay. These eyes, I'm watching you. I, I I wanna I wanna go touch it. It's all smoky. What if what if he's gone for too long and it started catching on fire? It wouldn't hurt if I if I just if I just twirled it with a spoon a little bit. No no no. Wait, what? Get back in your seat, little demon. You were supposed to go pee pee. I'm watching you while I pee pee. Okay. Wow, that was a good pee pee. Now it's time to have some more fun in the kitchen, stirring macaroni. Oh yes, give me the spoon. Splash, splash. Stir, stir, stir. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Oh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Splash, splash. Oh man, <laughs> do you see this? I am having fun over here! Splash! Splash! Yeah! <sighs> Little bitch. <sighs> oh man! You're not cool unless you're stirring macaroni! <laughs> oh, this is only for the cool kids. So I got popular back in my days. I, I wanna be cool. Don't! Stir, stir, stir. Special ingredient. 
<laughs> Poison. <sighs> Gotta teach the bastard. Very careful. I'm not going to drop it. Just gotta drain it and put the macaroni in. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, steamy, steamy. Look who's cool over here. <laughs> me draining macaroni. But my, my dad always lets me do it. Uh, screw your dad. Uh, now you got the back. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm such a cool kid. I'm going to have all the ladies. <laughs> oh, yes, who's the cool kid now? <clears throat> Time for the cheese. No, my, no, the cheese is my favorite part. My dad always lets me do the cheese. Please, 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 please. <sighs> okay. Really? Sorry, you can cut your ass. Ah, no, my dad. Ah. I got it. It's okay. I got it, guy. I'm cool. <laughs> Get the cheese pouring and the milk at the same time. No, you're not supposed to do that. Yes, you are. I've done this before. No. I'm cool. Oh, yes. Get all of that milk out. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Stir in the macaroni. <laughs> Look at how cheesy it's looking. Mmm. Look at its delectable orange and yellow looking colors. Oh, yes. It's making me feel cooler by the hour. Do you wish you were this cool? Because I wish I was this cool. Wait, I am this cool. <laughs> okay. I'm telling my dad. You can tell him. I don't. I, please don't tell him. I don't want to get fired. But, okay, I'm going to finish cooking this macaroni and cheese for you so you can stop being a d all your life. I should have been a chef growing up. Wait, I am. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> okay, it's all done. Let me Yay. take your bowl. I got you. Oh, I got to get the macaroni. Oh, oh. <sighs> now, here we go. How are we doing? It looks good. I know it does. Oh. <laughs> Look who's cool. You're gonna eat some cool macaroni made by cool chef Pee Pee. Oh, it ah. looks good. I can't wait to take a bite. I know you can. It's so steamy. Can you blow it, can you blow it for me? Yeah, sure. Anything for you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Scoot it towards me so I can eat it. Okay, uh. Wait! Where are you going with it? Uh, so you know, babies can't chew their food by themselves. What? So, I'm gonna put it in a blender for you, you know. Chew no. it, chew, chew. No, it, it will ruin it. Chew, chew. No, it's not a train. Choo, choo. It's not a train. Oh, it will be today. It's well, going to go very fast in this blender. But, but. Oh, I, oh, maybe a little more. Okay. I, I don't want to be able to. I want it. I want it. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, you say something? I can't hear you. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, wait. You said you wanted marshmallows? I got a couple of marshmallows. No, there. no, not marshmallows. Yeah, maybe a little. Oh, you wanted, you wanted the little blueberry things too. How about we just throw the whole pack in there? No. Add a little sweetness. You know, you don't want everything to be all cheesy and whatnot. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna hold that up. Oh man, it's all done for you. But I don't want it now. Now get a board in the sippy cup. I don't drink out of a sippy cup. Yes, you do. You will today. But I don't want it. Yes, you do. Don't lie to me. Don't lie. <laughs> oh, all I need is the top and you're the beauty. Oh, oh. Sippy cup for the king. We got a sippy want. cup for King Crybaby with all your beautiful ingredients that you wanted to go with your macaroni and cheese. I don't want it though. Bon appetit! Alright class, today we're gonna be learning home economics. 
home egg cat now mix, okay? We're gonna be cooking. And I'm gonna show you how to cook so you don't have to keep eating McDonald's every single day. Right, Logan? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, Crass. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you how to make today is an egg roll. So the first thing you're gonna need is an egg. And then you make it roll. See, egg roll, a funny joke, ha ha, all right. All right, now 100% I'm being serious this time. I'm gonna teach you how to make egg drop soup. So the first thing you're gonna need is an egg. And then you drop it, ha! See, I got you twice, and two and one, two and one, ha ha, funny jokes. Ha ha, I get it, it's called egg drop soup, and he dropped the egg. Uh, yeah, and he rolled the egg, he made an egg roll. <laughs> all right, Crass, now I'm gonna teach you how to make something that you can actually eat. I'm gonna teach you how to make orange chicken. So the first thing you gotta do is go out and catch you an orange chicken. So you gotta go out and get your chicken food and you shake it. Here kitty kitty kitty, here kitty kitty kitty. And when you do that, all the chickens from all across the land are gonna run to you and you gotta find the orange one, the orange chicken. I already have my orange chicken, you right down here. All right, Crass, this is my orange chicken. It might even be sweet and sour. I won't know until I taste. So then after you get your orange Hey chicken, loser! Then you gotta do your sauce. I said hey loser! Hmm. Is he talking to me? Cause my name's not loser. So I don't think he's talking to me. Hey loser with the blue helmet on! Hmm. I have a blue helmet on. And the kid in front of me has a blue helmet on. But my name's not loser. So I don't think he's talking to me. Hey loser with the blue helmet on and the pencil up his nose! Okay, so now things are getting weird. Cause I got a blue helmet on, and the kid in front of me has a blue helmet on, but I have a pencil on my nose, but my name's still not Loser, so I don't think he's talking to me. I'm talking to you, Loser with the blue helmet, and the pencil up his nose, and the shirt that says Jeffy? Okay, now I know for a fact he's talking about me, because I'm the only one in the classroom wearing a shirt that says Jeffy. So now I have a decision to make. Do I break his eye sockets, or do I break his jaw? Hmm, let me ask him. Hey, Pyramid Head! What? I have a question for you. What would you rather me break, your eye sockets or your jaw? What? Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be a hard decision for me, too, because they both would hurt. You know what? Neither. You know what? You couldn't even see me because your eyes are so crossed. You couldn't even hit me. <laughs> okay, show both. <laughs> hey, Jeffy! Stop fighting right now! Mario, do you notice anything different about me? No, baby, you're perfect. Mario, you didn't even look. Mario! Uh, what do you want, baby? I'm just trying to watch TV. Mario, you don't notice anything different about me at all? Uh, you got your hair done. No, you silly goose. Quack. Mario, geese don't quack. Then what do gooses do? Mario, I got new eye contacts. I can see so much better. That's great. So now you can see the TV and be quiet and sit next to me. <sighs> Mario? What? How do you think Jeffy did today in school? I don't care, baby. I really don't care. Who are you people? <sighs> hey, Jeffy, how was school today? Um, I got in trouble. You got in trouble? You bet your sweet Biffy I did. <sighs> Let me read the note. Dear Jeffy's parents, Jeffy is suspended for fighting and breaking a classmate's jaw and eye sockets. Please discipline him. Jeffy, why'd you fight another student? Well, because he said I was a loser, Daddy, and I'm not a loser. Well, do you run to lunch with your arms behind your back? Um, sometimes. Well, then you're a loser, Jeffy. Mario, I'm sure there's a good reason why Jeffy and that kid got into a fight. Maybe because that kid's mean and comes from a bad home. <gasps> we should invite him over and have a play date for him and Jeffy! That sounds like a terrible idea, baby, because if they fought at school, they'll definitely fight here. Mario, they won't fight right in front of us. You wanna bet? Mario. <sighs> okay, look, yeah, okay, fine, we'll do it. All right, Jeffy, can you invite the bully kid that you fought? I didn't want to. Jeffy, go ahead and invite him over because you're going to make a friend with him now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you are. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it, Jeffy. I'm going to go find him and I'm going to go call him. I didn't want you to. All right, Jeffy, we're calling your friend. He's not my friend. Don't say he's my friend. Hello? Hey there, is this Jeffy's friend? I said don't say he's my friend. Ugh. What? Uh, uh, hello, young man. This is Jeffy's father. Oh, the loser's father. I am not a loser. I am very successful. No, he's not. Uh, you sound bald. I am not bald. I have a full head of hair. No, he doesn't. He's bald. Mario, why are you lying to that kid? You don't need to impress him. I'm not trying to impress him. I, I have hair on my head, don't I? Wait, why are you calling me? Well, Jeffy would like you to come over because he would like to be your friend. No, I wouldn't. I never said that. I don't want to be his friend. That's a fib, Daddy. You're a fibber. Fib, 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 fib. One fib, two fib, three fib, fib. Well, look, look young man, uh, Jeffy would like to work things out. He said he's very sorry for beating you up, and he'd like you to come over. So please come over, okay? Really? 
Okay then, I guess I can. All right, well, see you soon. Bye bye. All right, Jeff, he sounds like a nice young man. I think you guys can be really good friends. He's not a nice young man, and I don't want to be his friend. Well, well, that must be him. Oh, I'll get it. No, we will get it. Okay. I'm running away. Hello? Uh, do you like eggs? Yes. No, because I'm vegan. Oh, well, how do you like your eggs? Hatched, like they would have been if they hadn't been turned into breakfast food. I like mine scrambled. Oh, say less. <laughs> he just egged our house. Oh, Mario, we have to call the cops. That is one mean kid. I'm gonna call the cops. Hey there, did somebody call a doctor? No, no, Karen, you're not a doctor, you're a cop. Oh my gosh, Boiny, I forgot we were corpse. Did somebody call the corpse? No, no, Karen, no. Nobody called the corpse. You're not a corpse, you're a cop. Say, oh! Uh, Karen, no, I told you, you're not a doctor, you're a cop. But, Boiny, I want to take their temperatures. Well, don't. That's not your job. Oh, I mean, I was looking for contraband. Yeah, right, okay, whatever. Well, what's going on here? Uh, well, look, me and my wife got into an argument because she's lazy and all she does is sit in bed all day, so I told her to come try to do my job so she can see how hard it is, so that's what we're doing. Uh, okay, well, this is what happened. Somebody egged my house. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! Yeah. No, 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 Karen, this is where we yell at them for wasting our time. We have much more important things to do going after actual criminals instead of somebody who just threw breakfast foods at your house. You know what, Karen? Tell them that whenever they find the person who threw eggs at their house, how about they have them come over here and throw eggs at our house because it would be better than your cooking. Oh my gosh, Boiny, you're so silly. You know I don't cook. <sighs> yeah, I know. That's the problem. Well, look, I just want the person arrested for egging my house. Okay, Karen, just, just ask him what the person looked like and then draw a picture. Okay. Okay, so what did the person look like? Okay, the person had black... Skin, I knew it. Hair. Oh, okay. And they had a, a dark color... Complexion. Shirt. Oh, all right. And he was white. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, got it! That, that is, that is spot on. Yeah, let's go find the scrambled egg bandit. Oh, I really hope they find him. Okay, I found the guy! That is, that is not him. But it looks just like the drawing! Yeah, but I, that's just not him. Alright, well I had two suspects! This guy or this guy! Dude, why am I being arrested? You're not being arrested, you're being detained. That's the guy! That's the guy that threw the egg at my house! Wait, why are you snitching, bro? I know it! He looks just like the drawing! He does look like the drawing! The guy you brought in a few seconds ago didn't look like the drawing, but he looks like the drawing. Do you want to press charges? Uh, press charges! My parents don't care about me anyway! Oh, his parents don't care about him. Rosalino's right. He did come from a bad home. I don't want to press charges. I don't want to press charges. You know what? I think he should stay here with me so he can see what a good home feels like for a day. And he can be friends with Jeffy. Daddy, what are you talking about? This is not a good home! I would like to not press charges. Okay, kid. Looks like you're staying here for today. Aw, uh, dude, I don't want to stay here with these losers. God. Mario, I think what you did was really nice. I think they both could actually get along. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mario, <laughs> stop them! Boys, break it up, break it up, you two. He started it. No, he started it by being ugly. You want to go, bro? Yeah. <laughs> break it up, break it up, you two. All right, that is it. You guys are actually going to learn to get along, and you're both going to be friends. Well, here's the thing, Danny. I don't want to be his friend. Yeah, I don't want to be his friend. Well, would you rather be in jail? No. Yeah, Daddy, send him to jail. All right, this is what's going to happen. You're going to go in the playroom and you're going to learn to play together and be friends. So come on. <sighs> All right, you two. You're going to play in this playroom and have fun. Maybe play with these balls. Daddy, I don't need to play with these balls. I got two good ones right here. Look, I don't want to hear any fighting. So just have fun and get along. Hey, doofish head. Ow, uh, ow, ow. Don't throw things at me. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. I said no fighting. Who started it? He did. He threw a ball at me. Danny, I didn't start anything. I'm a perfect angel. Someone edit a halo right here. Jeffy, I know you probably started it because you just don't like him. But look, I think you both are just cranky because you're hungry. So let's go in the kitchen and eat something. Danny, we're not hungry. We just don't like each other. Yeah, I don't like him either. Well, look, you're going to learn to like each other. So let's go in the kitchen and get something to eat. <sighs> All right, you two. I think a good bonding experience would be to make food together. So make something to eat out of this stuff. Well, I bet I can make Jeffy a knuckle sandwich. I bet he's hungry for two more black eyes. No, no, no fighting, you two. Just make something to eat and be friends. <sighs> Hey, hey, doofus head. What? Look at this. Oh, dude, I love cracking eggs. <laughs> look at that splat. Oh, look at mine. <laughs> it's so cool when it makes a splat noise. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, dude. 
you want to know what's even more fun than throwing eggs? What? Throwing green beans. Yeah. Oh, but I'm doing spaghetti though. <laughs> Look, baby, I thought it'd be a good idea if they cooked together. <gasps> what are they doing? They're throwing stuff all over the kitchen. Stop it. But Mario, Mario, at least they're getting along. I like this. I guess you're right. I guess we should just learn to be friends. Today, we're going to be having a crass president erection. If you become crass president, you get to make any rule for the crass that you want. And I can't say anything about it. So which one of you wants to be the crass president? Ooh, I want to be class president. Junior, do not take this erection from me. I want to be class president. Well, I want to be class president. Well, you're too stupid to be class president. Well, you're too dorky to be class president. I want to be class president. Hey! 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 Hush! I don't want to be class president. But you can't be class president because I want to be class yeah, president. I want to be class 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 president. Settle down, settle down, class. There can only be one class president. That's why we have an erection, okay? It's going to be a long, hard process for my erection. So I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose two people to have erection. It's going to be uh, Cody and Jeffy. You guys come up to the crest and be part of my erection and tell the crest why they should vote for you as crest president. All right, I'm gonna go first. All right, prepare to lose. All right, if you guys elect me as class president, then there will be no more homework ever again. Homework will be illegal. No, 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 I actually think we should have homework because we might forget the stuff we learned at school and we have to keep learning because learning is power. Who's with me? Junior, don't throw paper balls at me. All right, change your plans. If I'm elected class president, then all the homework that we get will go to this guy because he likes it so much. No, 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 okay, okay, how about this, watch this. How about if I'm elected class president, we're gonna have healthier school lunches, like celery, so that means no more pizza. Junior, stop throwing things. Well, if I'm elected class president, then every day will be pizza day. There will be pizza parties every single day. Your desk will be made out of pizza. You will even be made out of pizza. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, how about this, how about this? If I'm elected class president, uh, you don't have to wear clothes to school anymore. So, so like, you, you know how long it takes to get dressed in the morning? Well, well, you, you don't have to do that. You can just come naked. And, and no girls allowed. Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have to come to school anymore! Because then you won't be president of anything. Oh, okay, 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 how about this? Uh, uh, if, you, if you fail a test, you can retake it! How about, how about that? Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have tests anymore! Oh, but you, you can't just do that. Alright, class, I've heard enough. So who do you guys want to be the class president? So who wants Jeffy for president? Woo! Jeffy! 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 Jeffy. 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 Who, who, who wants Cody for president? Yeah! Oh, Alright, class, we have a winner! Jeffy has won the erection, and he is now your class president. Uh -huh. Yay! <laughs> Mario, how do you think Jeffy's stay at school is going? It must be going pretty good. I mean, we haven't gotten a call from his teacher saying he's suspended for anything, like pooping his pants or biting another student. Hey, Jeffy, how was your day at school? Daddy, you can't call me Jeff anymore. You have to call me Mr. Class President. Jeffy, you got class president? I sure did, Mommy. All the kids in class said I was the smartest kid, and now I'm the class president. This, this must be something like a pity award or like a Make-A-Wish Foundation thing. Mario. Well, look, why would they vote Jeffy class president? Like, what are you even going to do for the class? Well, dang, the first thing I did was cancel school. So now I never have to go to school ever, ever again. Jeffy, you can't make those rules. You can't just cancel school. Yes, I can, because I'm the class president. No, Jeffy, the only way you could cancel school is if you were the real president. Well, how do I get to be the real president? You can't. You can't because you're a kid and you're just too stupid to be the president. Hey, Mario, speaking of the president, isn't it election day today? Oh, it is. Let's turn on the news and see how it's going. <sighs> Breaking news, okay? The president of the United States has something to say before the election tonight. Let's go to that. When I, Donald J. Trump, is re-elected president again, we do not want to share the moon with anyone ever again, okay? So what I will do when I'm re-elected is I will hire Space Force to build a wall 
a huge wall around the moon. So then it will be our moon and all the other countries will pay for that wall. A wall around the moon? Daddy, can I do stupid stuff on like that? No, Jeffy, you can only do stupid stuff like that if you're the president. Well, I want to be president. Jeffy, you'll never be president, ever. Mario, Jeffy can do anything he sets his mind to. Thanks, Mommy. Well, he'll never be president. He cannot be president. He can set his mind to as much as he wants, but he'll never be president. <laughs> Who's at the door? Hold on. Uh, hello? Hey, man. Uh, hey, I, I, I got a really huge problem, and I, I need your help. W what is it? Well, hey, can I come inside? Because it's like November, and it's freezing out here, and I'm just wearing short sleeves and no pants. Uh, yeah, sure, come inside. Okay. All right, so what's the problem? Well, this is going to sound kind of silly, but you know how there's an election today? Yeah. Yeah, well, we lost the other guy. What do you mean you lost the other guy? I mean, we don't know where he is. Like, like we were playing hide-and-seek, and we just never found him, so he's just, like, gone now. Okay, so then why are you here? Well, I'm here to try to find somebody who wants to run for president and try to beat Trump in this election, and I was kind of hoping that'd be you. Me? Why me? Because you're Mario. Everybody loves you. You know, they recognize you from the games, and they'll be like, oh, it's that guy. Well, I can't run for president because I wasn't born in America. Oh, okay. Well, what about you? I'm from outer space. What? Okay, is anybody here from America? Right here. Well, how old are you? 16. Uh, okay, we just won't tell anyone. Well, no, Jeffy cannot run for president. Well, look, he's the best I have right now. Um, I gotta say something. If I poop in a strainer, it makes poop spaghetti. See, look, he cannot be president of the country. Uh, it'll work. Okay, okay, Jeffy, uh, come with me. You're gonna go debate the president. Okay. Well, no, no! Hello and welcome to the presidential debate. Tonight, we have President Donald Trump versus Jeffy. All right, I'm going to ask both of you questions, so just answer those as best you can. Mr. President, we'll start with you. Why should you be re-elected president? So, they should elect me president because I'm already president. And I'm already living in the White House, okay? And so, if they didn't re-elect me, it would take me approximately like four years to move all my knickknacks and paddy wax and give a doggy bone out of the White House. It would take billions upon billions of boxes to get all of my stuff out of there. So to make it easier on me, Donald J. Trump, you should just re-elect me president so I don't have to move all my stuff out of the office. All right. Now, Jeffy, your turn. Same question. Why should you be elected president? Wrong. M Mr. President, pl please don't interrupt. He, he hasn't even said anything, so he, he can't be wrong yet. You should vote for me for president because if I was president, I would ban all school. No kid would ever have to go to school ever again, and they get to stay home and play video games all day. Also, I would ban green beans and make them illegal because they're disgusting and icky, and I I hate green beans! First of all, no one should ban green beans because no one has done more for green beans than I, Donald J. Trump, since the Jolly Green Giant. Shut up! Green beans need to be banned because they're disgusting and they're shaped like little green pea peas. Uh, wrong! Carrots are better! Wrong! No one likes green Nah, 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 all right, nah, nah. all right, all right, break it up, you two. All right, we're going to go on to the next question. Now, Jeffy, in your opinion, what is the biggest problem in the world right now? The biggest problem in the world right now is Fortnite. Every time they update the seasons, it gets worse and worse. To be honest, I don't even recognize the game anymore. So let's make Fortnite great again. Wrong. Oh, you actually like the dumb updates? All right, all right, all right. Okay, Mr. President, same question. What do you think is the biggest problem in the world right now? Okay, so the biggest problem in the world right now is that Legos are too small. Okay, this causes a choking hazard for billions upon billions of children every single day. Okay, so what I'm proposing is, is that we make these tiny, puny little Legos huge, okay? We're gonna call them huge blocks, okay? So, so kind of like mega blocks? I'm sorry, what? 
Well, M mega blocks. Oh, mega blocks. Yes, that's exactly what I would call them. Mega blocks, because we would be making America great again, one block at a time. No, no, they're, they're called mega blocks. Oh. Uh, Oh, uh, th yes, this right here is exactly what I'm talking about. So, if you notice, to show you guys a little bit of a diagram, this is our border wall with the previous administration, and this is our border wall with my administration, the Trump administration. So, yeah, and also, these are the exact same blocks that I want the border wall around the moon to be built out of. So, the wall will be huge! I actually like the tiny Legos. The big ones are for babies. Wrong. Mr. President, could you please stop saying wrong? Wrong. All right, that is it for the presidential debate. Wrong. Okay, you know what, whatever, I'm, I'm going home. We're just gonna see who wins tonight. There's no way Jeffy wins the election tonight. Don't say that, Mario. We have to believe in him. I don't believe nobody would vote for him. <laughs> hey, hey, did they announce who won yet? No, they're about to. Oh, good. Breaking news! Okay, the election results are in, and the next president of the United States is Jeffy. What's that mean? No way. Jeffy, you're president! Yippee! He did it! That crazy son of a gun actually did it. Jeffy, what are you gonna do now that you're president? Well, first of all, I get to poop wherever I want. Yes, you can, Mr. President. And you also get this, the nuclear football. What's that? Well, this will let you nuke just about anything. Well, the first thing I'm going to nuke is all the green bean farms and all the schools. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, no, 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 you can't do that, because if you nuke that, you're going to nuke our country, and we're all going to die. Well, it's a small price to pay for me to be happy. Well, no, no, Jeffy, don't you do Ah, run for your life! Ah! Goofy goober, yeah. <laughs>